Okay, Talk at Rocks, the new 105.3 FM Talk, 310. J.D. Ryan is here, associate producer Eddie Boyd, producer Dan Lewis, Jonathan Dodge, Edward Newton, the rock and roll attorney, on his way. Once again, the mic. It's not going to stay in one place. There. What is that? Which one? That. The pills. Is this a new diet? Part of the diet, yes. What's this diet? What happened to the Larry North thing? I'm still doing that. Are you still going to the personal trainer? Uh Uh-huh. You guys eating together? No. (laughs) What does that mean? You didn't look like you've lost any weight. I have not, actually. Why not? I just... I told you that was going to be a weird diet. It's not a weird diet. How many days days a week are you hanging out with the Larry North? Two days. Two days a week? Mm Mm-hmm. How long? I'm supposed to go more than that. I'm supposed to go three, but I've only been averaging two. Hmm. Didn't we have a bet to go along with this, Dan? I believe we did. I still got time. I forgot what the bet was. Did anybody know? We're going to start writing these down. We bet yeah, on too much we crap. Bet too much stuff. <laughs> oh. I'm still abstaining. Are you? Three days. It's been the worst day week of my life. It's only Wednesday. <laughs> and you still got to deal with Everett. With Everett? Yeah. Oh, um, no. <laughs> I we, can't. I can't. And we got <laughs> Rebecca Lord coming up on Friday. Everett Everett will taunt me today, and I'll have to <laughs> him. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Are you backed up? Yeah. Okay. I was looking at pictures of uh, Alyssa Milano today. What are you doing that to yourself? That movie, uh, was it Poison Ivy or Poison Ivy 2? Poison Ivy 2, she was in it. Yeah, she's yeah. naked and that chick's kissing her. <laughs> Great big man hanging out. Mm-hmm. Are you going to cry? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I can't stand this. Why do you poke yourself with a hot stick? You're just making it worse. I had to look. Why? I miss her. I know. Wait two weeks. I can't. Too long weeks. <laughs> of course, JD is instant messaging, I aming me uh-huh. today. Is there an easier way to say that, or is that it? I am. All right. JD sending messages back and forth. Yeah. I've masturbated three times today. I'm at peace with myself. <laughs> One of them was in the office. Relax. <laughs> Just to tease you. <sighs> I wrote one time, I wrote the word, you can say orgasm, can you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I said the polite. I wrote orgasm, what a wonderful word. Now I must go by the mall for young teenage girls walking around showing their cracks. <laughs> God. <laughs> I could crush with my right hand a 55-gallon drum right now. Mm-hmm. I think I could actually lift the car off the ground. Hey, Dan, did you ever get a hold of that uh, the <laughs> man who's uh, lifted the car off his... Or that the, guy. The number's disconnected now. Is it? It's out. Of, it's, the message says temporarily out of service. But. Oh. I'll bet you what happened when that story was released. All the disc jockeys got a hold of it and started calling the guy. So they probably had... To, here's what you do. Wait a week, because normally that's what they do. They disconnect it or change the number for a week yeah. and then change it back. We'll see. So we'll check it next week. Okay. Because you know how people are. Mm-hmm. Jocks. Hey, that's a cool story. Hey, it's old lady. Old lady lifts a car up off of a guy. Well, of course, we're just like everybody else. I wanted to talk to Mima. <clears throat> I can't stand this. Thank you. You've done well. Three days. I think I'm, I'm breaking out, too. Yeah. Breaking out. Look. Where? Hold on. You're not breaking Yes, I am. I got one right here coming in on the end of my nose. I got a porn star coming Friday, and I got a zit coming in right here. It's got nothing to do with whack. I think it does. No. Why all of a sudden? Just those things happen. There's one right here, and there's one someplace else. I think right here. And then one coming down under my nose. I'll go ahead and finish. Take care of it. Give us the money. Just clear up your skin. Mm-mm. I'll get some oxys, statin, or whatever that stuff is called. 
What is it, Jasmine? I just want to know, why are you abstaining? I forgot. You uh, thought I was keeping you from relating to women. You had no patience for them. Cause yeah, you, you I want to see if my patience level for women uh, goes up. So how long are you going to do this? Until I kill somebody. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two long weeks. Two weeks. You're not going to last. Plus, I was wasting too much time every day. At least an hour. So does that include everything? Yeah. Looking, searching, finding the right website. Oh. Finally making a decision. Because I vacillate so much. It's like, well, don't want to waste this time on this chick or on this MPEG or on this group sex website. It's always hard for me to decide. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Then right before I get ready to unload, mm -hmm. there'll be a pop-up for an X10 camera right in the middle of it. Blocks the cans. I hate that. <laughs> I just masturbated to a camera. <laughs> those These are testosterone pills. Yeah, I'm that's sure what I was going to ask earlier. What are those? These are testosterone pills. What's the diet? It's it's just part of it. It's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a something I found on the Let internet. Me see <laughs> what's, the, what's the no it's spray the, stuff? That's, the same, that's stuff too. It's spray. Well, it's the same stuff. I don't need to... Proprietary blend, maca root. So it increases your testosterone, which gives you more muscle mass, which helps you burn fat. Elderberry extract, Sambucus nigra. Standardized, blah, 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 daily value not established. Other ingredients, junk. Male performance formula. Testosterone Energizer formula provides specific herbal extracts, amino acids, and other, what is that, phytonutrients known to counter the harmful effects of stress and support. You <laughs> know, <laughs> I have a couple in the morning, a couple in the afternoon. Just testosterone. Well, it's not really. It's, it's well, whatever. It's natural. Eat the whole bottle. I'm not eating Eat it all. If this helps brain function, uh, sexual function. Hold on. So stress and support healthy brain function and for optimal sexual, physical, and mental. Pride. Eat this. Eat it. Open. <laughs> I've already had two. Well, uh, of course you have. Two in the morning, two in the afternoon, or two up before you go to bed. What does that smell like? Dirt. Sand. Yeah. More dirt pills. You found this on the internet? Mm hmm. And how does this work with your new diet? Under testosterone. It just uh, increases your testosterone, supposedly, which makes working out more effective. I'm beginning to think you got problems with your weenie. You right. take more stuff for your crank. I don't take anything for my crank. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this Viagra that we have. No. It's, you're always taking some kind of herbs or something for your... Uh, herbs are good for you. It's just good for you. It just keeps you clean. Keeps your system open. There. Thank Take you. your test. Whatever that is. Thank you. So why the, diff why the nose to spraying the pills? I don't know. This is... I mean, this, they sound both. Oops. I mean... This gets in your system faster. It's... Right Is it going your nose or under your tongue? Under your tongue. Like this. Oh, you'll put it in your tongue. Thanks. I always wonder what that looked like. Gosh. I can't see from Ooh, here. It, it doesn't really make any difference. You just go, look, goes under your tongue. Oh, oh, oh. I just did some. Taste so I had to show you. Yeah. Taste chocolatey. Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, that tastes good. It's not going to make me menstruate, is it? <laughs> that would be estrogen. Whatever. How many spray you might fall blue? Five. I know. That's, <laughs> that's six that's more. Ten. Stop. <laughs> it ain't pumping. It is pumping. Testosterone's going to make you hornier. That tastes like chocolate. Unsweet and chocolate. Yeah. Got a bit of sweet. That's not math. <laughs> 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 it's going to make you hornier. It's testosterone. I'm sure it takes longer than one day to get in. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. You get it free. Hmm? You get it free. Hmm. Maybe. Yes. I said we from time to time test test products on our radio show. They don't mind sending this stuff. God, you're on the air. Hey, Dan. Russ. Uh, Russ. Dan. Okay. <laughs> hey, you just need to tell him just drop it all and get the body solutions, dude. Yeah, free spot. Mark that down, Eddie. Go ahead, you're on the air. This call is from a federal prison. <laughs> this is a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call is from... Where? Hang up to decline the call or to accept the call. Dial 5 now. To block future prepaid calls from this person... Dan, pick that up and hit 5. It wouldn't let me do it. Hello? William? All right, hold on. Go ahead. Sorry, thought I hit my turn my mic off. I'm not. No, that's all right. You know damn well if you guys ever got a call from me, uh-huh. a recorded one like that from prison, uh-huh. it would be that chick talking. You was even the call is uh huh. The call is from help, help me, black people, like me and the boy. Press five to accept. <laughs> <laughs> So if you ever hear that, that's me. <laughs> Press five. <laughs> okay. I'll make a note of it. Yeah. His name's William. Hi, hey, William. What's going on? Where are you calling from? Uh, Seagoville. Seagoville. Oh, that's the minimum security, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this right? Yeah. I was just going to let you know, man, uh, that bet that y'all had put in. The what? The bet, the $100 bet. Oh, yeah. It'll get easier with time. Yeah, I bet it does. <laughs> How long, uh, you don't, you don't whack in your little cell there? Well, I did, but I'm trying to slow down. Why? As I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know. Who's paying for this call since it was prepaid? I am. How do you do that? They have calling card accounts. Or where do you get the money for that? Well, family or money uh-huh. you had before you got locked up. What are you in for? Drugs. Yeah. Taking or selling? S- selling. Selling? Yeah. Selling to who? Undercover. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I do it. But uh, anyway, I was just want to let you know uh, it's, it's real hard. It was real hard for me. I mean, went oh. from having sex and killing to yeah, like you're going without sex. How long are you in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven years. Really? What were you selling? Every uh, well, all kinds of different stuff. Well, like what? is my main choice. What is methamphetamine? Yeah. Were you making it? Did you have your own meth lab? No. Nah. Where were you getting it? Not anywhere I want to talk about over the phone. Yeah, they got you locked up for sheetrock? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I wish it was sheetrock. I can get off like all the other guys that have been getting off. Yeah, how long you been in? Not very long, probably uh, eight or nine months. And you're in there for seven years? Yeah. You well, got I your... got seven years. I'll be out in four. Yeah. Still a long time, 21, so yeah. I'll be young when I get up. Yeah. What do you do every day? So I just work out, play racquetball. Yeah, don't say the S word again. Oh, yeah. That's, that's okay, I got it. You know what we're going to do? Light me up. <laughs> you play, wait a minute. You play racquetball? Oh, yeah, man. It, man, they got soda machines here. They've got drinks, uh, uh, cable TV, movies, uh, oh, library, oh. movie library. What? Yeah, dude. It, it's, 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 see, I had them locked up a year in the state, too. You sat there You sat there and you were selling meth to cops, and they locked you up in in uh, a Club Med? <laughs> well, I mean, it's still prison, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're still, hey, Club you're Med, there's not other men got, trying to rape you. No. <laughs> oh. It's got to be well. locked up guys for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go to. You ever have anybody try and call on you too, too? No, that doesn't go on much. It doesn't? There's guys that will give it up without having to get it took. So oh. Getting it took really nice. Nobody ever tried to sneak in? No. No. You let anybody in? <laughs> no. Come Next on. Only. Hmm. But you got any buddies there? I don't really know anybody here. I mean, yeah. I, there's people I run around with sometimes. So do you have to get up at a certain time every day? You do if you got a job. I don't. Oh. I hey, you don't want to miss your racquetball game. Yeah. <laughs> I get up for chow. Do you really have racquetball courts there? Yeah, I swear, racquetball tennis court, uh, softball field, horseshoes, that little Mexican, uh, uh, the little bowling game with the balls. Whatever bocce ball? It. What is it? Bocce ball? Bocce, yeah. What do you do? You hit Mexicans with balls? <laughs> yeah, something like that. 
What is it? It's it's an Italian it. it's an Italian yard game. It's oh, you got that? Yeah, volleyball court. <laughs> Try it. Oh, big <laughs> damn! <laughs> You couldn't get a swing set that wasn't anchored in the, or was anchored in the ground. Yeah, when kid. I was a kid, yeah. I couldn't even get a swing. Well, we had a swing set, but my dad wouldn't sink it into the ground, so we always flipped over. This guy sold meth to a cop, and he's got a racquetball court and volleyball. What else? Well, man, you, you keep it. Oh, there's the S word again. Dang. That's all right. all right. I caught it again. All right. You can't help it. You got other concerns. But, uh, you know, I mean, I guess it's kind of... So, uh, do you get conjugal visits? Shoot, I wish. Did you say again? No, he just uh, stopped. Hmm. No, I thought, I thought you did. Actually, I was trying to marry my uh, the, the woman I was with before I got locked up mm -hmm. in hopes that, that that was the case. But then found out that it wasn't. You don't get any visits from no. women? Oh, yeah, you get visits. I get contact visits. Oh, yeah. and what do you do? You have to stick it to a, a fiberglass hole? Uh, you know. no, no, it's contact visits. What do you, oh, so it's a conjugal. No, yeah, no, conjugal, so. different conjugal contact. You get a kiss whenever you get there, and then you get a kiss when you leave. Oh, that's it? That's no it. sex? Yeah, I wish. Oh. Damn. So I'd give, give up all the bocce ball for some sex. Yeah. You ever start looking at uh, any of the guys there in the, the lockup, and, uh, and they can, hey, you know what? Uh, Maybe one time in somebody's bobo wouldn't be too bad. No. <laughs> uh, four more. You got four more years of no sex with women. Yeah, you're gonna go queer. I don't think, I don't think that, that's long enough. <laughs> you're gonna go queer. I don't think it's long enough. You know what slick legging is? The what? Slick legging? No. That's when uh, you lay on your stomach, and some guy will uh, uh, like do you between your legs, but not really in your tutu. So that don't really make you the homo. Do you know this uh, from personal experience? No, we get cr prisoners call us all the time. This call is from a federal prison. We get another one? Yeah, well, no, it's, it's just a reminder. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I almost forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. I was going to ask you out to lunch until that chick came back on again. <laughs> <sighs> See, whatever. I read a statistic that over 80% of all prisoners who spend five or more years in prison have at least one homoerotic experience. Yeah, well, he's only in for four years, so he's under the wire. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. One can only hope. Hold on a second there. Uh, what was your name? William. William. Hold on, William. How long will they let you stay on the phone? Uh, I got about seven more minutes. Okay. Is it, It's already prepaid? Yeah. Okay. Well, then we'll go ahead and use the seven minutes. I don't want you to waste any money there. In, uh... Well, I made 60 cents there. I'll go ahead and let y'all go if y'all ready to go. I just want to let you know, man. I don't know why I tried to... I think, uh, I don't know if it's just a uh, speculation, but I figured maybe... Uh, the lack of doing that will raise your testosterone, which, you know, like I was just talking about, might help you out in the uh, at the weight pile. I don't know if that's true or not or if it even has anything to do with it. Yeah. But anyway, I tried to cut back. It, it was really hard, frustrating. Even. Yeah. But, uh, well, do you do you have doors there in your cell or people walk by and actually do it? It's kind of like a, a monkey act. Well, this, this place, this is a federal prison, so it's it's a lot different than state. You know, in state, you're in 50, you know, you can be in rooms with 54 dudes, showers yeah. wide open. You know, we got private stalls, private rooms. Yeah. I mean, it's like a, Kind of like an apartment complex. Right. So you got actually, do you have a door to your cell? Some, some do. I'm in a drug program right now, so I don't. But what kind of drugs do you have, you I'm in a drug program like a treatment. Oh, they want you off of it. Yeah. Oh. You get a year knocked off for drug treatment. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't sit in a cell with little bars where people can watch, uh, walk by and watch you whacking off like a little Reese's monkey? Throwing uh, stool at them and stuff. <laughs> 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 we don't do that. Oh, it's too bad. Well, you got a lot of people in here for tax evasion and, you know, I'm saying things like that. Ooh. It's more of a civilized <laughs> type of... If there can be a it's civilized... A, it's prison, federal. Yeah. yeah, it's a civilized prison. <laughs> yeah. Both the prisons, this is the more civilized. Yeah. Right. Well, good luck. Call us anytime. All right. All right, bye, bye. Wade. That's everybody, William, in the lockup. Yeah. <clears throat> You're popular in the lockup, seems to be. Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, I was just, uh, because, uh, I, how you're kind of disagreeing, how you like, how, how they have all that stuff. My brother's a guard up there, and yeah, they got all that stuff up there, man. They got it, they got pretty made on them federal. Cause what? My dad, he, what, what is it, S word day? <laughs> what is that today? So far, four? Four. I don't understand why they give them all these things. I have no idea. Keeps them exercising, keeps them from getting frustrated and getting into fights. Even basically. on certain days, they eat certain food. Like, they'll have, um, 
tamales and menudo and steak and potatoes and they they live pretty cool. There's a, 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 a prison system in I think it's damn where was it? We had the the, the warden on one time. Chick uh, female warden. I want to say Louisiana. Uh, yeah, it was, it was Louisiana. They had the uh, grunt, the meatloaf. It was like, a, it, yeah, it was a combination of uh, uh, whatever meat they were going to get, potatoes, Jello, everything, and they put it in one lump block, the leftovers, uh. and gave them that. That's what you eat at your food groups. I mean, you even have the option to buy pizzas and ramen and tuna all, all at the commissary over there too. You got the snack ramen. <laughs> Bitch. Oh yeah. Couple noodle and everything. <laughs> Summer camp. That's exactly what it is. And if you if you if you're not really getting raped all the time, like I always figured prison would be. Yeah. What's the thing? You just can't leave. Why would you want to leave? You got cable TV. You got volleyball. You got racquetball. You got uh, uh, what else? I got um, tennis, basketball. Um, well, you flag don't have basketball. Football. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of football? Flag football. What kind? Flag. Oh. <laughs> they might have that other kind of football. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I was just going to call and let you know that, man. All right. All right, take it easy. Thanks, sir. Yep. In Arizona, <sighs> yeah. there's a prison that actually has... I, I'm not using the right term, but it's some sort of Indian prayer hut. They they look like teepees. I've actually seen pictures of it. They're on the prison grounds. You can see because it's part of their exercise of uh, freedom of religion. They petition the court to have this stuff. What is your name? Sweat lodge. Sweat lodge. That's exactly right. So uh, I mean, it's pretty bizarre. You see this prison with all the barbed wire, and then you see these little teepees all out there, and they get to have that wine. Because it's part of their religion. Excuse me, if you were religious, you wouldn't be locked up in prison. <laughs> isn't that right? <laughs> Maybe crime isn't against that particular religion. I don't know. But, yes, those are actually there. They accommodate that. For religious reasons? Yes. Criminals? Yes. Have little religious areas? Yes, little TP sweat lodge things. People who broke the law. Right. Teepees. Absolutely. They're very nice. But that's, uh, is that a federal? I, I'm not sure which prison system it's in. But I do know that uh, that they have them. It's in Arizona. I don't know if it's a state prison or not. What happened to the good old days when you went to prison and you got anal rape every day and you never wanted to go back? <laughs> go on. Why? Prisoners have sued and gotten one. It's against my liberties, against my rights. I, it, cruel and unusual punishment to take away all my rights and liberties. Tough right. That's what happens when you can't play by the rules outside. Then you got a time out from 15 to 20. I don't think state prison is that wonderful. No, the Eddie people have been head. calling in saying this, this federal prison is the country club. So you got to do something worse to get into the federal prison? Well, you have to violate a criminal statute. Uh, tax evasion being a primary example. You know, you have to file your taxes, and if you don't, it's against federal law, so yeah. you go to well, a federal prison. How did he get in there selling drugs, then? I suspect there... Well, there's certain types of offenses that can fall under state or federal jurisdiction, and if the amount is sizable enough, or if it involves crossing state lines, for example, uh, there, there are certain conditions that can make it a federal case. Or sometimes the feds opt to pick up the case as opposed to having the state prosecuted, and they just end up in the federal system. Lucky for him. Yes. That's definitely where you want to go. The downside of being in the federal system is that the parole rules are not nearly so uh, accommodating. If you uh, get sentenced to federal time, under the sentencing gu guidelines, you, you usually do about 80% of your time. Yeah, he said he was in for seven years, was going to be out in four, four. But they gave him a year off for going into the drug rehab. But that's still pretty harsh. I mean, if you did, if you got a seven-year state uh sentence, you would be out in under two. Uh, I kind of like the way Eddie's in the background. Just not this <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. State's not the way to go. Fed. <clears throat> yeah. That does the name Club Fed. Exactly. I I think they used to have a golf course out at Cedarville, but they closed it down under protest from citizens who didn't think that federal... But the volleyball court and everything else is okay. Well, sure. I actually knew a guy. My scrotum almost opened up and let my balls fall out when he goes, I get up in the morning and play racquetball. I thought at first that was some kind of prison term to where you swat guys out of your ass. <laughs> I actually knew a guy that was a counterfeiter that was in uh, federal prison and complained because they wouldn't allow him to use his own golf clubs. He had to use the prison issue golf clubs. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I swear. 
<laughs> he was a counterfeiter. He was doing federal time, and uh, that was his chief complaint. Oh. I can't use these. They're common. <laughs> Other convicts have touched these. It's going to mess up my golf game. He was really upset with the prison pro shop. <laughs> they did not. They did not. No, I made that part up. <laughs> I swear. I want to cuss so bad. <laughs> you go to prison, you get locked up. Mm -hmm. Isn't that supposed to be some type of punishment mm -hmm. yeah what's the punishment you lose your freedom but look at all the cool stuff you got who wants to leave you can't drive your mercedes for your vacation that's punishment enough you yeah. don't have to work you lay around you can work out mm -hmm. you can play volleyball you can get some sun racquetball watch the cable tv <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the dish network no yeah, to them, that's probably prison. I gotta watch. Cable. I gotta go with cable. Uh, so service sucks. Customer service blows. Oh, uh, the good thing is, you know, I'm always here between 11 and 5 when they say they Never miss a show. <laughs> service guys, I never miss them. <laughs> some, I just, I missed, I missed a chapter in life someplace to where we take prisoners and we give them stuff. The only the only reason I can see doing it is if you give them stuff, then you got stuff to take away when they act up. Right. Why couldn't you just leave them locked up? Like if they act up, you don't get to come out of your cell. They do that it's in the called, federal prison. It's called lockdown. I, I don't know about federal prison, but I know in state prisons they do that routinely. So they don't normally put really dangerous guys in federal prison. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, I mean the dangerous violent guys crimes. State. Yeah, okay. the violent crimes fall under state jurisdiction. Okay, murder, rape. That sort of thing. All right. So, if we've learned anything in the 30 minutes we've been on, don't commit a crime that's going to send you to state prison. Correct. You want to go to the federal prison. Absolutely. So, I need to sell drugs. Lots and lots and lots of them. Across right. state lines. Across state lines. Yes. So, if I, I'm about to get caught, I should run from the police and cross the state line. That might be helpful. And make sure you have lots of drugs. Right. Lots and lots of them. So, cross the state line, mm -hmm. and just in case... Sell some drugs to people in the other state as well. Yeah. Sell as many drugs as you can, as many different states as you can, and, and you're in business. That's good, sound legal advice. <laughs> write that down. <laughs> what is it, Chris? Hey. What? I was locked up in Oklahoma, man. In Oklahoma penitentiary minimum. And uh, we had volleyball, Indian sweatshops, uh, a couple movie nights. Movie? Movie nights, man. We had cable TV. Excuse me just a second. If you would. Just one moment, please. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chris. That's not right. <laughs> That's wrong. They shouldn't have movie nights. They had them. Well, they can't play golf all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they had movie nights, but it was in the middle of the week, so it kind of screwed up my schedule. <laughs> Not like normal. I can go anytime you want. <sighs> wow. I had no idea. I didn't either. I thought at first he was seriously, he was hosing me. With yeah. that, that, I get up and I play racquetball, where they give you like a stick or something, and you hit guys in the ball so they don't get your bobo. <laughs> I get racquetball. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Carl? Yeah, I was just going to tell you one of the big differences, like between state and federal. The state prosecutes all your nasty guys, like your murderers, uh, armed robbery, rape, and more of your white collar crime is federal stuff. So you get get more of your nasty guys in the state prisons, unless you get in like the big U.S. penitentiaries, you know, where they have the Al Capones and those kind of guys. Eddie, will you stop not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Eddie, yeah, everybody's been right so far. Yeah. All right, thanks, uh, Carl. You bet. Yeah, you just have to watch those gangs of rogue accountants down there, you know, tax <laughs> evaders and so forth. Federal prison, not that big yeah. guy. What we need out here is... What? There's a guy in line six, me. He wants to tell you about a guy that uh, we should have here. In the studio? No, and to run our prison system. Oh, all right. 
Yes, Mike. Yeah, there's a uh, Sheriff Joe Frio out in Phoenix. Uh, he closed the prisons down and uh, put them as SPCA's and put the prisoners out in the desert in tents. Uh, no air conditioning, no TV, no nothing. Yeah, that would that would be good. He brought back the chain gang. Oh yeah, yeah actually put them out there seriously busting rocks, but, busting rocks, working on road gangs on the side of the road as a deterrent to other people who might potentially commit crimes. Has them all chained together, and they even wear the white and black striped suits, just like in uh, what was the movie with uh, Paul Newman? Was it Paul Newman? Cool hand Luke. Cool. Yeah, yeah, he were great. Yeah, you drive. Well, I know, but the, the, you know, you see them. Taking a drink, boss. Yeah. That? Exactly. Good. That's what prison should be like. And then you go back at night, you get the chains taken off, and you beat guys out of your ass. That's what prison should be like. It should be a club med where you go in and go, I wonder if I'm going to get a court today. <laughs> <laughs> they do. It's a huge tent city. Sometimes the temperature, this will make you happy, the temperature in those tents gets upwards of 110, 115 degrees. Good. It's very brutal. I know you'd be pleased. They should put ceiling fans in there just to pull the hot around. <laughs> what is that, a state prison in Phoenix? Uh, actually, I think it's a county jail. County jail. But, yeah, he's known as the toughest sheriff in the country or something like that. All right. I see everybody's calling with, when they were in prison, what they had. <laughs> Watch. Yes, James? Hey, we're shaking a bush here, boss. What do you got? <laughs> 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 I, hey, forget, man, I, I forget, forget what that mean. Oh, shaking your bush? All right. Yeah, I was shaking the bush, boss. Does that mean you're going to Wiz? Yeah. Hey, uh. I, was in, I was in Gatesville. You were in what? In Gatesville, Penitentiary for the state. Yeah. Man, we had HBO, MTV, popcorn on Friday nights. We had dorms. It was the minimum security. And and uh, the federal boys, there are some uh, murderers in there, you know, for the federal. There's different types of federal prisons. You know, there's mi minimum securities and maximums. Yeah. Well, what is Sigaville? Obviously, Sigaville is a minimum That's security. That's minimum. Minimum security federal prison. Right. That's right. That's cake And he quit it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that in Houston, down in Houston, they got some maximum security. You know, that's a thing for real down there, you know. Mm. And did you, actually, did you have to do the, the boss stuff when you were locked up? Yes, sir. You had to walk up on them and put your hands behind your back and say, yes, sir, boss. And, and you, you couldn't walk up on them when you was in the fields. They'd draw down on you. Hey, that's five. <laughs> yeah. That's five S words today. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, in most of the county jails, they're bringing back the, the black and white stripes, man. Everywhere you look, Good. you'll see prisoners working outside. Everybody's wearing them now. That's all coming back. Mm. But, yeah, I mean, state prisons, they're, they're just as easy as the federal. Some of them are. How long were you locked up? I was there for about two years down in Gatesville. What were you locked up for? Burglary. What did you steal? Uh, cowboy boots. <laughs> and you were locked up for how long? I was locked up. I had a five-year sentence. I did uh, eight months on a five-year sentence. You know, guys like this come into my office all the time, and they tell me stories like this, and I go, yeah, what's missing from this story? <laughs> well, I guess the fact that, what, what, Eddie? The guy was dead when I stole him. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, usually it. Yeah. Now, all right, well, say he, did you break into somebody's house? Yes, sir, I did. All right, is that, is that part of why he would be locked up for two years? It's not what he stole. It was the, 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 the breaking, the V&E. Yeah, just the breaking and entering, yeah. yeah. Exactly. If I had known that, I'd have got everything, see? <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> but it didn't really matter what you took. Mm -hmm. I, it, was, I, it was basically I, the B&E that he got locked up right, for. Right, right. Yeah, I, I just fancied the boots, you know. They were not. They, they <laughs> All right. All right, boot. Thanks, like James. Like <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask him if they fit. <laughs> locked up in women's fed. What do we got? A bunch of convicts? Yes. Yes. I can I can vouch for that. <laughs> Number one, convicts twenty five fifty four. Go ahead, Wendy. Hi, Russ. Yeah. Oh, you were locked up. Yeah. Yeah. I was in a maximum security women's unit. We did not have all What of were you Wendy, there. what were you locked up for? Conspiracy to manufacture a controlled substance. Yes. What were you selling? I I was you were making manufacturing. Meth. I was manufacturing methamphetamine. I can tell by your voice. Is <laughs> it doing? Yeah. Why does meth make it give you a gravelly voice? It just does. It's because it's really bad for you, and it eats your vocal cords, doesn't it? Huh? Yeah. Well, you're up so many days in a row. If you, you ever do sleep deprivation, you start to lose your voice. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> you, uh, you got how'd you get caught? I love this. The DEA caught me. Yeah. What were they doing? I mean, wh where were you making your meth? In your house? Your your garage? What? No, 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 no. I have farmland out in Alabama. Okay. And how did they catch you? Um, 
I'm not really sure. I think an informant, but they caught me. Okay. I was guilty. And I did it. You were locked up for how long? I was locked up for five years. Yeah. It was a long time ago because back okay. then they still had parole. Yeah. Did you have the... They don't have parole anymore. Did you have the lesbian sex while you were locked up? Well, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Of course. And, and Mr. Segaville will, too. Okay? <laughs> He'll just deny it forever. Yeah. Okay. But I woke up, I woke up in prison. Yes. And my roommate, this, this club head room thing, my roommate is Squeaky Foam. Really? Okay. Hello. Yeah? I am. I when were you know. locked up? I was locked up from 1986 to 1989. 1985 to 1989. I thought she was in Fort Worth. She me. was pretty much everywhere. I don't even really but know who it is. I know I should, so I'm acting like I know. Oh, right. Okay. Who is it? Uh, in 87, she squeaky from, you know that. Virginia. She yeah. she's she's a, committed crimes. And for what was she locked up for? There's a lot of different things she did. Eddie White, Manson like family, and then she tried to shoot uh, Gerald Ford. Oh, okay. Ford. All right, there you go. Yeah. Thanks for jumping. You didn't know who she was either, did you? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> she was throwing the Charlie Manson's girl. Okay. I knew the name from someplace. I just didn't know, and I knew that I should know, so I tried to fake like I screw it. I don't know. Right. I, I went to community college. Right. She's one of Charlie Manson's girls. Okay, she's uh, yeah. writing letters that she's bribing guards to mail for to her boyfriend, Charlie. If you were in prison with her, what was her... Did she ever tell you her real name? Lynette Frome. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So she was writing letters back and forth to Manson? Uh-huh. They bribed the guards. Are we syndicated and I don't know it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, no. These are all locals. These okay. are all people that live in this town. No, yeah, I, I live here. in Fort Worth now. You know, I've, I've been out of prison for 15 years. I've been clean and sober for 15 years. Yeah. Uh, that it's like you were talking about. I didn't go to Club Fed. Yeah. I went to Maximum Security. Right. right. And the men's units in Maximum Security. Are did you ever make it with the, uh, the? Did you ever make it with the squeaky from? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. She's totally dedicated to Charles. Oh. She escaped from prison in '87 because Charles told her to. Yeah, you have to. They found oh, her yeah. wandering around in the the forest, the bear infested forest of West Virginia. Three days later, because she was waiting for a sign from Charlie to tell her where she should go. Wow, that guy's got it going on, you know. Yeah, <laughs> she's been hold. locked up like 17 years at that point. Uh, that's some serious Mac. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Wendy. <laughs> All right, Emma, we need to break, Eddie. Yes, we do. Hold on, let me look and see what else Dan has before we break. Line seven? <laughs> of course. <laughs> what was day? Yes, Angela? Where were you locked up? Hey, Russ. Yes. Hey, I was in Vault Springs about a month ago yes. for a speeding ticket. Mm -hmm. I didn't get no cable. I had no TV. I had somebody's old crusty blanket. <sighs> That like hundreds of people have used. Is that seven or six? Seven or six. Oh, I'm six. sorry, my bad. Gosh. And it's all been convicts that have used the S word today. Yeah. Uh, well, In 48 minutes, we've had yeah. six. Well, my bad. That's and uh, you, you were locked up for a speeding ticket? Yes. Mm. I got a cold hot coffee. Not a big enough crime to get the, the, the uh, nice no, stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I have to go cold, hot do pocket. something else. A cold hot pocket? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was frozen in the middle. It was like. Oh, on the no. Edges. I got the Lady. The toilet didn't work. No. They forgot I was in there. How long were you locked up? Two days. They forgot I was in there. <laughs> I didn't get... I got Hi, how could they... They can't forget that you're in there. That <laughs> Balt Springs <laughs> Police Department can't be that big. No. They've only got like six terrible. people in, in the entire jail. It's a really dumb. small jail. No, they didn't write my name on the dry erase board until... The <laughs> 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 mother chick came in later at like 9 o'clock that night. I was there for seven hours. They didn't know I was there. And you didn't, when somebody walked by, you didn't look at them and go, they didn't Excuse me, by. can Nobody you reach the dry erase board? <laughs> I write it on, but I'm busy in here one, having my cold hot pocket. There was one cop there until seven hours later when they brought some other crusty thing in. And she was scangy. But, I mean, the blanket had other people's hair and lice and That's I don't just know gross. what. Jail sucks, don't it? Uh, oh, my God. I wish I could go to prison. You'll never speed again? I swear to God. Yeah. Not Bob Springs. I sure won't. Line at eight. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they're a lot nicer in Bye. Dallas. All right, last phone call. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, there's a ways of masturbating. There's a round ways of masturbating in prison. We call them fifis. We get a glove, fill it with lotion. And then stick it in the microwave for about uh feels just like a 
More of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. Straight up 4 o'clock. J.D. Ryan is here. Everett Newton, rock and roll attorney. Associate producer, Edward Boyd. Producer Dan Lewis, Jonathan Dodge is in the thing. All right. Oh, you got my sea monkeys! They got them finally. Had to go everywhere. Where are they? Oh, they're in these little packets. Now, you can't do them today. Why not? Because I read the instructions. You have to do packet number one is purify the water for 24 see. hours. I got to put bottled water in that. And well, then, isn't bottled water already purified? You have to put bottled water in it and then purify it for 24 hours. Then you go to packet number two. This is your on. instant live eggs. Where does it say 24 hours? Right on the instructions. Empty this packet into the water of any 12-ounce capacity sea monkey aquarium. Stir in the powder for just a minute. Set aside for 24 hours. There you go. Do not add sea monkey eggs mm -hmm. until 24 hours have elapsed. Well, what happens if you don't? If you don't wait? They don't hatch and they die. I think they hatch anyway. I think they just don't live long. They just die. Because of all the crud in the water. Uh, I want to burn zinc and all the stuff. I want to see them hatch. Well, tomorrow. Today. Well, they'll die then. Fine. Well, let's go ahead and hatch some, and then we'll hit them with a stun gun. <laughs> Fry them in their little You know thing. you can't see them for a couple days. They're like the they're like a dot on a piece of paper. I thought you... They're like... You could see them hatch, couldn't that, you? They're like that big when they hatch. How do you know? Because that's what it says in the book. What book? Yeah. You got a sea monkey handbook? Comes with a man. Where did you, where'd you get these, by the way? Spencer's Gifts. It's the only place that sells them anymore. Toys R Us doesn't have them. Nobody has them. I wouldn't believe anything I read in that book. I was looking at that book during the commercial break. It's got pictures of them reading books and skiing. Yeah. Well, does it have the part about how to train your sea monkey? Yeah, here it is. How to train sea monkeys. Uh, it just says, no bigger than the period and the end of the sentence. Yeah. When they're first hatched. Let me see. You know where I used to keep mine? Hmm. Out on the porch. All right. <laughs> You, go, you just go right ahead. <laughs> so they can get a lot of sun. Go right. They do need light. Yeah? They do need light. I know. They do better if they're near light. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys hear about Frisco? No. Yeah. They changed their mascot. Did they? Yeah. Did I mention where I keep these? <laughs> you go ahead and do it again. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> what are you reading? What I'm you trying to find it. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It says they're about the size of a period note in one of those sentences. And the first one, you says, you won't see them for a day or so. Oh. And then they go well, that's there. not any fun. Then they get to be, well, let's see right here. It's a science experiment. Plus, you can hypnotize them. Do you know that? Yeah. And then you stick your weenie you in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that way they can't stand in a little sea monkey court and testify against you. <laughs> <laughs> they say they'll do acrobats and you can do electric some that electric show yeah you stick the stun gun in the water no <laughs> they'll, they'll be dead you're going to kill them it is why bother buying them if you're going to kill them it is believed by some scientists that sea monkeys actually possess learning ability through a form of rudimentary memory after working with them for years we discovered that whenever they encounter a current of water they always try to swim against it because water currents and pressure can be controlled by man, a fantastic series of games can be played with your sea monkey. You do that already. <laughs> no, I don't. Not for the past three days. Oh, that's right. This discovery opens up a whole new world of fun that you can have with your amazing live pets. But for now, we will show you how to successfully entertain with them. I think you need to stick a flashlight in the water and it blinds them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's when you stick it in the water. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> You actually ate sea monkeys as a kid? Yeah. Oh. What else can we do with our sea monkeys? A group of scientists? Yeah. Does it name anyone in particular? No, it never does. Game, sea monkeys, pe people. Really play with people. So they'll really play games with you. Mm -hmm. Backgammon. Mm -hmm. So great. Sea monkey baseball game. Mm -hmm. Sea monkeys rock. We need to get a webcam and just put it up next to the tank so people can watch our monkeys. You don't need to prepare them water for a day? Yeah, if we got to wait. You can't see them right off anyway. That's the fun. 24 to 30 hours, 12 ounces of water. How much was this? 10 bucks. That's it? Mm -hmm. For pets? Mm-hmm. Cool. $10 for the whole thing, including the little uh, display What do you think? Uh, it's got food, too. How long does that last? Growth food. These uh, are about the size of wet nap packs. 
you only feed them that much a week. That little bitty bitty cup, about the size of a pencil eraser. Uh-huh. How long do they live? Up to a year. And they have babies. So this is a little aquarium could go for. How long do you have to change the water? That I don't know. I didn't get that far in the feeding thing. technique, problems, solutions, sea monkey growth cycle, temperature control. Yeah, if it gets too cold, you can put them out on the porch. You can start breeding them. Our own sea monkey farm. That's right. Corner of the market on sea monkeys. Better than chinchillas. Mm-hmm. It's only 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll set the water up. We'll do it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. More and more, this is becoming just a fort. <laughs> <laughs> you think? All right, four. Fire department. What? Is the person on line one an idiot? No, it's just there it was too much to put in there to try to get through to you. Oh. I've got a question for Everett. I know you just love those. Because he can never get to but them. But this one's so screwy. Hold I get to them. The, uh, now you decide to do some kind of little... No, I dick. don't. I answer questions. Um, all right, I'll, I'll just let her talk. All right. Did you get ready with news? Because I bet this don't last long. Yes, Kate. <laughs> Hi, Russ. Yes? <laughs> I have a question for Everett. Yes, we know that. My mother-in-law's house burnt down the other day. And in the middle of putting out the fire, the four volunteer fire departments that were out here were ordered to disconnect from the water supply. The water company's name is Tecon Water Companies, and they ordered the fire department to disconnect in the middle of the house burning down. Do we have a legal link to stand on as far as suing these people? That's a difficult question to answer simply because uh, I'm not specialized by the Texas Living Boys. Well, that too. But no, I, I have a. There are too many unanswered questions uh, involved, and we don't really have time to go into. Why right did now. they? Why did they say they cut the water off? They said that it was a private water supply company, and that the fire department had no right to be connected to it. But they, they're the company that supplies the water to all the homes out here mm-hmm. in our little housing addition. Really? And where's your little housing addition? We're in between Mansfield and Venus. And they, are they actual houses? Are they manufactured uh, there's, there's houses? There's a mix of houses, mobile homes, there's yeah. everything. Okay. Can you do that? you got a private water company? Go, hey, I don't want you using that. Email because me. they charge for that. That's I mean, right. It's like, the, obviously, the fire department not going to be paying for the water they're using. Well, the question becomes, do they have a duty to provide water and under what circumstances? I mean, if it's their water, it's, it's kind of a similar question in a way to if you see someone drowning in a river, do you have a duty to go save them? And the answer is no, you don't. You can stand there and watch them drown if you choose to do so. Right. Um it's kind of a dotsy question, and again, I don't really have all the facts. I, if you like, you can email me. I can refer you to someone who uh, handles that type of law. Okay, that would be great. Just yeah, just shoot me an email, and I'll I'll respond to it. Do you have the email there? Just on Everett's website. Yes, DallasAttorney dot com. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks, Russ. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. See, I answered him. I didn't know what the answer was, but I said some stuff. So is that possible? This is my water. I don't want you using it. We well, yeah. charge people to use this. Yeah, I mean, it, again, it comes down to do they have a duty to provide water to someone uh, simply because it's in an emergency? And I, just off the cuff, my guess would be no. Mm. Yeah, but you just think out of common decency. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't good for the company around. to go. Of course, if you, there's no place else to get water, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, but the question is not is it polite. The question is, is it actionable? Is yeah. there a cause of action yeah, that guess. arises from that? And, and I, I would guess there probably isn't. But, again, if she'll email me, I'll refer to someone who might have a different answer. Okay. Ready to start next? Uh-huh. I thought you were going to do the water. I can't start training these sea monkeys until you get the water going. Do it during the commercials. There's right. bottle waters in the kitchen. All right. <clears throat> what is it, Edward? Hey, uh, you know, you can get all those, uh, they're called brine shrimp, the sea monkeys. You yeah. can get them fully grown at the fish store right. for, like, Five bucks, you get a whole portion of them. So I can start training them now? Yeah, they're fully trainable, man. You can even train them to do middays. <laughs>
410. J.D. Ryan's on the new 105.3 FM Talk with you. Thank you, Russ. News brought to us by Service King. It is Wednesday, March 6, 2002. Birthdays today. Shaquille O'Neal turns 30. Tom Arnold, one of our Roseanne's firsts, is 43. Rob Reiner is 55. Alan Greenspan, 76. Ed McMahon, 79. Jason Williams, the former NBA star, charged in the shooting death of a limousine driver at his mansion, apparently tried to put the victim's palm and fingerprints on the gun, according to Sports Illustrated. That doesn't look good. No. Mr. Williams and uh, two men also disposed of the clothes the former New Jersey Net was wearing. Uh, Mr. Williams' brother reported the shooting to authorities as a suicide. Apparently, they're, they're been... I don't think I even know the whole story. That was his limo driver, right? Correct. They were apparently in the bedroom doing little shotgun tricks, which he had been known to do before, playing with the shotgun, spinning it, doing all kinds of silly stuff. And it went off. He hit the guy in the chest and killed him. Well, instead of going... Holy mackerel, let me call the cops and tell them what happened. Right. He went, let's make this look like a suicide. And he took the clothes off and threw them away and called the cops and put the, tried to put the guy's palm prints on the shotgun and said, he did, kill himself. I don't know. <laughs> but it's all coming out now. Everybody's saying, no, you, he's been known to go spin in shotguns before. I've seen this guy talk to the media a couple of times. He didn't seem too bright. No. He didn't sound too bright. I mean, he would have gotten off with probably anything from manslaughter. Yeah, Probation. or maybe, if, uh, you know, I don't know what the laws of with regard to murder are in that state, but maybe some sort of criminally negligent homicide statute might prevail. Uh, but, you know, given that he's hiding things and the fact that, from what I understand, they're now offering immunity to the other people that were there. Oh, there were other people in the house? Yeah, yeah the Har- yeah. Harlem Globetrotters were there. Yeah. So... And Why? Two, two other, I swear. Two other men. Also. Which, well, the new ones are like Metal Ark Lemon. No, I don't think Curly or Metal Ark were there, but, but some of the new ones. We're there. Are you hosing me? I'm not hosing you. The Harlem Globetrotters were there. Well, yeah, he's a basketball player. They play basketball. I'm sure they were up there, you know. Playing around. Big party. Hanging out. So they're offering the Harlem... It sounds weird to even say, but they're offering these certain members of the Harlem Globetrotters immunity from prosecution. To testify. To testify. <laughs> okay. All righty. Well, I got a question. This guy that was toting the... Um, the forklift that came off the the truck and hit uh, Labella. Yes. Could they hit him with criminal uh, uh, that thing? Yes. I, I think that there is talk of. Uh, in fact, I think they're sending that case to the grand jury on that very issue. I just got this um, during the last break off WFA.com. Yeah. It says the Dallas grand jury will consider charges of negligent homicide against uh, huh. Lind- Lyndon Berry. He was issued mis- a misdemeanor citation. Yeah, he got tickets of exceeding yes. height restrictions yeah. on his truck and for not having a commercial license after the mo- after the accident on Monday. And I think you know if you're gonna and we talked about this last week, I think this particular statute and how dicey it can be when you're talking about prosecuting the actions of third parties and so forth. But right. I, I think that this would be a far better use of that statute. Which one are you pointing at, the, the basketball player or the forklift? No, the forklift. Yeah. Simply because this guy's driving along. He sees, oh, 16 feet, 10 inches clearance. My thing's 18 feet tall. Right. Maybe I can slide through. You know, I mean, he... Overtly. We don't even know if he knew, because I don't think probably he even didn't. packed the truck. No. no, he probably didn't. He uh, probably didn't. Yeah, they were saying today that uh, part of the people that they're looking at are the people that loaded the truck. He just he was just some guy driving. I mean, they just picked him out of the crowd and said, hey, you got a license. Who, who wasn't even supposed to be driving that vehicle with the license he had. No, and they uh, I can't even remember. They said the name of the company that loaded it up there and told him to take off. That was in the paper today. Yeah, yeah he just had no clue. Anything. I just, it just makes you wonder now, because obviously driving to work, I'm looking at trucks and just backing off just to make sure that they're going to clear under the... Because I don't know. Oh, sure. There has to be like a minimum clearance thing that you know that you can drive around Dallas-Fort Worth. It's like you can't hope that your load's going to clear you know, the bridge at uh, 30 or here or whatever. It seems like it would all be like a standard level. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So you don't have to really look at the bridge. You know, all right, my load is 13 feet. All bridges in Dallas-Fort Worth are at least 14.5. Yeah, that's a mistake that you should never make, obviously. I think you're okay with the big tractor trailers. I think in this case it was just somebody that threw something on top of a flatbed. Nobody measured it. It just makes you wonder how many other idiots are loading stuff and putting them on trucks and going, all right, see well, lots. I mean, I drive around all the time and see stuff flying out of the back of people's mm-hmm. trucks. And well, I mean, something like that, to where, you know, something flying out of the back of the truck is not that big of a deal. Something hitting an overpass. Well, look at the underside of overpasses. Yeah. You see scratch marks, scrape marks on them all the time yeah. where people just yeah. 
barely fitting under them. Go under any bridge and look up. And my father and I, when I was a kid, saw some cars get knocked off of a car hauler. <laughs> Guy was about 100, 150 yards in front of us, scraped three cars right off the top of a car hauler. Don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't know what I'm thinking. What am I thinking? <laughs> bicycles. Where Don got his bicycles peeled off the top of the army. I'm going to bring that up. He didn't bother to check. Hey, I wonder how high those 10 speeds are off the top of the... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, the wheels are still there. Now the wheels are on top. <laughs> Some idiot left a bike laying in the road. Right, free bike. <laughs> okay. Well, so you think they can nail him on that? Potentially. It's such a broadly uh, written statute that, as written, I think, yes, potentially they could go after him on that. Well, let, all right, let's go this way. I don't even know if this is the same thing. Say you're driving down the road, and just say the forklift comes off. It's not strapped down good, and it wails the, the, the car behind you. Is yes. that the same thing? I, Criminally I think so. negligent? I think so, because you you knew or should have known that something like that. I mean, that's a foreseeable consequence of not fastening whatever it is down properly so that it ultimately injures someone. Well, I'm just stinking paranoid now to get out on the road, because you don't even know if the people that are packing these things, not even the fact that the guy wasn't supposed to be driving that vehicle, so A, you gotta worry about the drivers, and B, you gotta worry about the way the load was packed. Yeah. Yet another reason to stay home. <laughs> or go to prison. Stay yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, they're safe. Go ahead, you're on the air. Uh Russ, the uh talking about the trucks, there's a DOT mandate that says the trucks can only be thirteen feet six inches. You're talking about a standard. Right. And it is the driver's ultimate responsibility because he's in control of that vehicle to be to know how tall this load is. So he should have got out there and measured it himself. Yes. He should. He should you, you can't always take somebody else's word for it because you're the one that's going to get the ticket or you're the one that's going to go to jail if something bad really goes wrong. Mm. And see, the, one of the problems with how the, the statute is written, and obviously I don't have it in front of me, yeah. is that potentially you could prosecute the people that loaded the truck because, yeah. you know, they loaded it too tall. They should have known that potentially something could happen and someone could be killed. Right. What about the four, the supervisor that said, you guys take this stuff over here and load this truck? You know, I, I mean... They're, they're so the all... trickle-down could be several people. Right, and that's that's what makes it unduly vague and, in my opinion, a very, a very dangerous and bad statute. Thanks, Jason. So you don't think they're going to be able to nail him on it? I think because it's, it's all vague. I, no, well, no, I think they potentially could because, uh. as it stands now, it hasn't been rendered unconstitutional. Or, I mean, it's still on the books as good law. Oh. Uh. Did I tell you that uh, KMEO invited me over Friday? No. Because they're going to do like a memorial thing. No. Oh yeah. wow. I don't. I don't know that much about Lumbella. I don't know what I'm going to say. Are you going to speak? No, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to go. What am I going to say? I don't know. I know the guy. I mean, I feel bad it happened. It's very, very nice that they invited you over. Because of the check? Oh. I'm sorry. What check? Shut up! Go ahead, Jason. I'll tell you. 14 no. feet. 14 feet what? 14 feet is the maximum height you can have on a commercial vehicle in Texas. All right, so all the overpasses are at least... 14 and a couple inches. If they are not, they are marked with, the, you know, the big giant yellow sign that says 13-8. Right. Or whatever, so those guys can see it from plenty far away. And I carry a Class A, and I don't even drive for a living, and I know that. So they were very negligent, in my opinion, man. Well, yeah, the fact that the, the you know, the forklift came off. Man, yeah. It's 14-10. Yeah. If it was ten inches tall, it's how much smack that bridge then. Yeah, and they and from, from what I've been reading the last couple of days, like if it said they, they there are a couple of inches of leeway there. Like if it says right. fourteen five, it's really fourteen seven. Or as right. JD said, it's probably a couple of inches either way. Could be fourteen two. No, <laughs> doctor said that guy had no experience. Right, he shouldn't have been hauling a load like that. Yeah. All right, thanks, Jason. All right, see you, man. Can I say just to make up for what I said yesterday? I've done the check now. What tech? Shush. Excuse me just a second. Uh, you'll pardon us for one minute. Thank you. I won't mention the check again. Shut Time out for Everett's mic. If I wanted somebody to know, I would have told him. Okay.
if I told him, I'm going to put you on the porch. <laughs> so you could say that, but I can't get away with what I said. Yet. I didn't say anything. Will he be there by himself? No, he can be out there with the sea monkeys. Both of you can sit in the sun. Thanks. <laughs> oh, just for that. No, you know. <laughs> The things nobody heard it then. You bastard. Now I can't take this phone call because I had to hit the delay a couple of times. Hold on a second, Alex. Everybody loses their mic. Eddie holler at me when the yellow lights on. All right, go ahead, Alex. You're on the air. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything bad. You could have left it alone. Okay. I'll show you what kind of idiots are out there. That are working in uh, construction business. I own a drilling company, and we've got a lot of heavy equipment. Uh, had a backhoe come off one time. The trailer came totally off the back of the truck, going across Highway 82 up here by Sherman, crossed the highway. Luckily, no one was coming on the other side. Uh, hit a culvert, totally destroyed the backhoe, the trailer. Uh, what they had done, some of my guys tightened the ball on the back of the truck with a small wrench, and it vibrated loose. Okay, three weeks later, they come pulling in the yard with the truck. I said, where's the friggin' backhoe? They didn't even know they lost it? They didn't know they lost it the second time, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and what they did, luckily this time, they turned it at intersection. The, the trailer came off the truck, rolled across a highway, and rolled in the parking lot of a convenience store and stopped. <laughs> I, I mean, I hopped in my truck and I'm backtracked. I'm just, oh my god, oh my god! Yeah, Drove please, two yeah. miles and there's my backhoe parked in a parking lot of a friggin' gas station. <laughs> it could have ran through the pumps. It could have ran through the yeah. people or anything. Needless to say, that whole crew was fired. I mean, it, it just it's scary as hell. You. So I mean, is this wait, when you heard about the uh, uh, the forklift hitting the overpass and then you know coming off? Did that surprise you at all? No, not at all. It, the, there's, that's what I'm saying. The, the guys that uh, they hire, you know, and this guy didn't even have a commercial license, didn't even have a CDL, didn't have a clue. You know, they probably not pay any much, and he's a dumber than a sun-dried turd, and they run a damn forklift up, didn't measure it, and took off. I mean, we deal with heights and stuff with drilling rigs like you wouldn't believe, and we have to pick and choose our way when we go. We're oversized loads and yeah, in many times, but... Oh, it's scary, man. Just just pray to God you've got tons of insurance, and then it's still not enough. Yeah, this will probably close that company down. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's big time. <laughs> I mean, that's serious stuff. Yeah. But, uh, you, you know, to be an owner and, and have to live with this stuff, it, uh, you know, sometimes you just don't sleep at night worrying about things. Yeah. I've had tires come off of trailers. A, a tire where they didn't tighten the lug nuts on a, on a huge pipe trailer. Know, Carrying a load that's of well casing. Tire comes off. Runs across Highway yeah. 75. Yeah. It's the curb. Luckily, He's a good guy. I don't hang up on him. Totally no. over the other lane of traffic. Right. Over no, cars. I don't think so. <laughs> that tire could have easily went right through somebody's there windshield. There we go. Yeah, I mean, okay. it, you know, it, it's scary. Another story? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to talk myself business. I'm going to sell out. Man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. All right. Okay. Clear. What does Bromley want? Uh, he's got a question for you about something I didn't I didn't quite understand. Yes, Albert. Alfred, Good whatever the hell your name is. Alfred. Yes, Al. What's this about a check? Put him back on. <laughs> it says here on the thing, what's the story about the truck? Oh, I typed in the wrong thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call here anymore. <laughs> What's going on? I gotta go. Oh come on! Are you gonna uh, are you gonna call up a KMEO on a Friday? Did they invite you? No, uh, they told me about what was going on, but they didn't invite me to participate. No. I, there was no reason to. I, I wasn't even around when he was on the air. I, you know, I was, and I I remember listening, but I don't remember any bits. This was what I was back in high school. Yeah, me too. You know, I remember like something Waldo and uh, uh, Wally from Waco. I don't even know that. Oh, I bet that isn't that what you're talking about. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uncle Wally. Uncle Waldo was Stevens and Pruitt. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, well then I'm out. All right. And I feel bad. I mean, I just doesn't mean the guy wasn't you know big with the the whole zoo thing. Yeah. 
Oh no, I don't. I mean, that's, that's, I don't think they'll take it personally or anything. That was nice of them to invite you. Yeah, it was. If you don't want to show up, you know, you just send the check. That's, that's fine. I'm sure they'll understand. <laughs> All right, me. Thank you, Al. So what is about check? <laughs> Are you ready? Sure. If you want to continue. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Do you want a break? Oh, let me see what this guy is waving on. We need a break, Eddie? Yes, we do. All right, we'll take this and we'll break. Go ahead, Kerry. Yeah, uh, I'm a truck driver. I've been driving for about 12 years, and I've been hauling construction equipment. And uh, if there's a load that I'm unsure about, I'll always get out and physically measure it. And here recently, you know, talking about these bridges being marked, I've had two loads that were 1311, and there's two bridges in, around downtown, I know for a fact, that aren't exactly what they're, they're marked. One out there on 30. Seems like they figured that out pretty quick, though. Yeah. yeah. The and, city uh, engineers. Mm -hmm. But it's happened, you know, way. because I've actually measured them. And there's one on 30 that's uh, 14.7. Yeah. And with me measuring it 13.11, it's great. And there's another one out there on uh, 75. It's marked 14.5. Yeah, I know that great one. great bit, too. Yeah. And there's been a lot of other trucks hit it as, as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thanks, Kerry. You bet. Yeah. Thank you. I'm scared to get on the road now. Well, you've been driving for 25 years. It hasn't happened yet. You could be all right. I mean, it just... It, Are you just chock full of happy phrases? I guess so. I just... I'm trying to be honest. Look how long you've driven. Well, and driving is the, the most odds? dangerous thing we do on a daily basis by far. I mean, statistically. Uh, yeah, you know you're afraid to go on airplanes. That's, that's like sitting in your bathtub compared to driving. Just the freaky way that happened. One thing's for sure. If something like that happens, it's it's your time. There's nothing you can do about it. You're yeah, because you know there was no way he went saw that and went, oh, lucky lula. What? Lucky lula. -la. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Good God, I hope those aren't your last words. <laughs> no, they won't be. <laughs> I saw something coming. I don't know that he could. I mean, he was driving at full speed. I'm sure there was no skid marks at all. No. Jesus, that wakes me out. Uh, it would be so shocking, too. I mean, you're you're not even going to be able to process it mentally as fast as everything's going to happen on something like that. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll break here. We'll be back. You shut up. More of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. All right, 437, J.D. Ryan is here. Newton, Eddie Boyd, uh, Dan Lewis, John from Dodge. We didn't finish, did we? No. No. Uh, Where did you leave off? At uh, the uh, Journal of American uh, Medical Association. They got a new survey out what saying... Is it is the height of every bridge in the city of Dallas. Thirteen six, fourteen one. A guy just called in uh, during the break and said, "There's a reason why bridges may not always read out what they're what the signs say." <laughs> okay, they resurface the roads from time to time. Sometimes they just lay another layer of, of black top on top of another layer of black top on top of another one, and it changes the height of the bridge by a couple inches after a while, and they never bothered to remeasure the bridges. That's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Collin, Dallas, Denton, Rockwall. So these guys, once they loaded the thing, could have checked the route. Sure. Make sure it was going to clear all the bridges. They put a guy behind the wheel, didn't have a license. I don't think they care. Yeah, you're right. They're not going to pull this up. This came off the Internet, right? Yep. So it's not even like it's hard to access. This gets more and more stupid. The fact that it happened. I still go back to the thing of, had he left the office one second later, one would change his speed by one mile an hour. It was his time. And the guy behind him. Whew. That's the day you go out and buy a lottery tickets. Oh, oh, yes. Lucky. Now, when it hit, did his car go across the freeway? I was going to know. They said it crossed six lanes of traffic to hit him. So I think he was already in that lane and just kind of pushed him over on oh. the road. 
the official, the, the original report said he was on the inside lane, and the picture looks like he ended up on the outside lane. So I get a feeling that they hit him from an angle and just pushed him over like that. He probably never saw it coming. No. No. And hit it at full speed. Yeah. Go ahead, you're on the air. Uh, Rudd. Yep. Let's, let's get, get this right. The problem is the driver's at fault. They're not checking his load. Well, it's like Everett driving. said in the, in, in, the, in the final analysis, it's whoever's, whoever's driving that thing's going to get the ticket. Right, right. I mean, the driver should pay attention to what he's doing. I've been driving for 20 years coast to coast, and, and if you pay attention to what you're doing and know what you're looking at, you're not going to do anything stupid like that. That just sounds like this was half-assed from the beginning. You stick a guy in the truck it's supposed to, that's driving a truck that doesn't have a license for it. If you don't really care about that, why do you care about the height of the load? Right. That's right. Or the people that you're going to hurt in the process. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks. All right, go ahead. Okay. New survey out by the uh, Journal of American Medical Association. They say long-time heavy marijuana users may eventually see their memory and attention span go up in smoke. Investigators found that among pot smokers... Well, that didn't take long to figure out. No. <laughs> Spend money on it, too. Your tax dollars. Investigators found that among pot smokers seeking treatment for marijuana dependency, long-time users performed more poorly on tests of memory and attention than shorter-term users and non-users. What is this? What are you guys doing? Hey, Russ. Hey, hey Russ. Russ. Daniel. Hey, hey, Russ. Who are these women? I have no I idea. I see you. Not a clue. What? what? Do I, I don't see know. You? <laughs> Why are these women rubbing all over me? They love you. Mm -hmm. We want to show you something else. What? Uh oh. <laughs> Where are they from? I, I have no Where idea. are they from? I'm. Get the men's club. <laughs> from the men's club. Very nice. <laughs> you know, this highway? Well, yeah, you I know. The men's club? Yes, I have. <laughs> We're there a couple of weeks ago. Not very really long. Did you see the girl named Dee Dee? No. Oh. No? What was the purpose of this? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. They just they came up on their own, I'm sure. Come in here because I can't scream at you through the glass. <laughs> you sure you can't. Uh, pop with that. Shouldn't what? You? What are you doing? Oh, what are you touching? <laughs> ah, it's not even starting. Hey, <laughs> please. You get away from my weenus. <laughs> get away from it. <laughs> right. You know, fun. Look. Nice work, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I have got my crotch mashed so hard up against this console. <laughs> nobody's get, it, nobody's getting to it. Nobody's getting those are nice. Oh, How big yeah. you are. <laughs> nice. Daniel. Uh -huh. oh, he's pretty happy to see you. <laughs> you haven't even gotten that far yet. and I'm not, really getting tight. I'm not wow. turning that quarter. <laughs> those are nice. God, I want to touch those so bad. Don't you want to? Here, come here. I can't, because if I touch him, then i got to let go of the console. Come on, Russ. What is he doing? I am not paying off if this is going to... Yes, it is. I'm getting slick like Aren't they beautiful? Good work, Daniel. Look how soft her skin is. Quit. I'm not letting go. You're not even... You're not even old enough to wear it. Get away from my wear <laughs> Come on, Russ. Uh, there we go. Aren't they sweet oh. little girls? Look how cute you are. What we heard that you don't be take taking my pants off. off. <laughs> we heard that God, the one time I want to get... Why not this time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your pants off. Oh, I'm never going to have You're going to just stop. Russ. Daniel, I'm not paying off. Huh? I am not. Get out of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you do this at the men's club. What's the matter with you? But we're not at the men's club. We're not. We're I know it's right highway. <laughs> That's just where they work. Come they're on, they're right. here to. I'm closing my eyes. To, to show you how, really how important you are. I'm thinking oh, it. Here they go. I'm thinking a dead My pants are coming off. I'm thinking a dead pants. Yes, we're here. I'm thinking good. a him. <laughs> Who? A him. Rock of ages. Did <laughs> the pants come off? <laughs> Mama? <laughs> what are you looking at? You got two top of women taking your pants off. Come on, buddy. Quiet. Oh, my God, Russ. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, did I wear no please? underwear. <laughs> oh wait! Quit! Oh, they Quit. have little polka dots all over them. There's oh, thank God I wore clean ones. <laughs> <laughs> get, get out of my pants! 
What's the matter with you? Uh oh, there's some some spots back there. <sighs> They're not spots. My dog chews my underwear. Oh, what have you been doing? Nothing. Dan, get these women out of here. Right. Daniel, get these women right. out of here. Oh, I might have touched one. Daniel. Oh, he touched. Uh, he touched. Daniel, get him out now. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the shirt. Come on, Russ. I'm not getting naked in here. There goes the shirt. There you go. No, there I can't. The if they tell you it is over, get them out now. Now. Okay. Well, now. Can we, can we, uh, now. Okay. Now. Put the, put the tops back. <laughs> so, you want Thank you, Greg. Hold on. Where's Oh, my God. Great picture. Uh, oh, there we go. That is so nice. Uh, my shirt is pulled down all the way to my... Look at those What's your name? I'm Dee Dee. This is Dee Dee. What time do you do? I work from 11 to 7 at Men's Club in the, during the day shift. Excuse me a okay. second. Very nice. Who's this? Uh, Alicia. What? Alicia. I'm touching yeah, it. I also yeah. work 11 to 7. 11 to 7 at the Men's Club. Nice. On Northwest Highway. On Northwest Highway. Cover up. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 20. <gasps> Who? Okay. Jesus Nobody's been paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Is he? Oh, yes. I'm not yes. looking over there. Bye. 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 Bye, Russ. I'm going to take a break. That is some of the coldest crap. <laughs> Stuff like this never happens at the law office. <laughs> And it's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them know. Yeah. Oh my god, I know. Twenty and twenty-one. Little firm. How you feel? They're gone. They're leaving. My pants are still down to my ankles. <laughs> I got my hands in my underwear, uh -huh. protecting my weenie. <laughs> you look like a little kid that had a bully steal his money. <laughs> <laughs> White, white t-shirt, his top shirt pulled all the way down, hanging down. You were just brutalized by two little girls from the men's club. Hmm. And I made it. Mm -hmm. So far. So far. That's stored in your hard drive now. <laughs> and those are nice cans. Yeah, they both were. Those were. And the, the little blonde, simple. she didn't look 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you better quit thinking about her. You know the cover of uh, the the movie poster for uh, Steve Martin and the Jerk. Mm -hmm. That's what I look like right yeah. now. You do. All you need is a chair. Yeah, hair <laughs> paddle game. Yeah, my pants down, shirt pulled down, got a white T-shirt, my hand in my pants. <laughs> you were doing it while they were in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she was really going to grab it. It's like, uh-oh. Oh, my God. Whew. i got to get the rest. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I can't see in there. No. Nope. Uh, I don't want to see. Uh, no. Nope. Yep. Get dressed. Yank, yank. <laughs> I'm not looking that way. I, I'm not. You guys want to double the bet? Sure. How much? I already did yesterday. I'm up to two. Oh, my week. I know. <laughs> How much? I'm up to two that you'll, that you'll burst by Monday. Oh, Monday? I'll give you, I'm just giving you two weeks. I, I, I'm with you on Monday, but I'm still holding the two weeks. Two weeks. How much? $200. Dan, you up to two? I'll go up to two. Everett, you want some of this? Yeah, I'm in. How much? I'll go two. For how long? We're talking two weeks, right? From no, I, I, I'm saying that he won't make it until Monday. Is that is that the original bet? Or I, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go 200 that you won't make it till Monday. Yeah, because Friday, you got Friday all weekend coming up. No work tomorrow or Sunday. Oh, the weekend's darn hard. Yeah, I got too much to do. Because when I go home at night, where I'm just sitting there watching TV or whatever, or when I wake up. That's the first thing on my mind. Yep. Yeah, I go upstairs and whip up a badge. Or when JD sends you the pictures from today. <laughs> <laughs> that is some of the coldest <laughs> anybody's done to me in a while. Good old Dan. I I just thought it was a nice gesture. God, 
Aşırlarım balık yer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they would have. No, I don't think. I don't think they would. That wouldn't have been breaking the bed. No, that's why I didn't want them getting down there because I know what they would do. Mm-hmm. And then stop, leave. Yeah, just like any other woman. <laughs> Continue with news, or are you going to break? We need a break, Eddie. Uh, yeah, we do. Do we? <laughs> <laughs> you just look so sad. I am sad. <laughs> Poor Lord. It's like he's lost a friend. Lost, lost touch with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to grab those so bad. I know. Because they were, all four of them were firm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Young. Perk. 20 years old. Was that little blind dance? Uh, 11 to 7. She's a day dancer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you believe that? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. That's a men's club, though. They're men's club is, now. yeah. Their day girls are 100 times better than anybody's night girls, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Look like a one-year-old that found his wing. He's sitting here squeezing it. I was doing that this morning, sitting at the computer. I go take a look at a couple of sites, just for old time's sake. <laughs> Pulled up Alyssa, uh, yeah, Alyssa Milano. That's just torture. I can't do that. Straighten it. Yeah, I yeah, it, it out a little. Yeah, you, you got to let Wayne get to it from time to time. <laughs> like I'm not gonna drink. I'm just gonna hang out here in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna put it in my mouth and spit it back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I did. I actually did a little stretching exercises today. <laughs> All right, we can run a break thing, but more of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. All right, straight up five o'clock. You're on legal ID, Eddie. All right, Jonathan Dodge at the controls of the new 105.3 FM Talks White Lightning. Why, thank you, Russ, on this report brought to you by Boot Town and DreamWorks. Northbound 75 Center Expressway, slow from Royal to Forest. Left and uh, center lane is blocked due to a broken down 18 winter, causing a backup to Walnut Hill. Uh, out in Fort Worth, northbound I 35 the North Freeway. Between 820 and Western Center Boulevard, there's a stalled ambulance off to the left shoulder. That's causing people to slow down to see what's going on. This report brought to you by Wells Fargo and the Texas Lottery. Be on the lookout for huge scratch game winnings playing cash rewards. New from the Texas Lottery, you can win up to $25,000 playing cash reward today. That's traffic. I'm Jonathan Dodge in the new 105.3 FM. Why? Lightning. Not remember, I'm going to partly cloudy. 54 for the overnight low. It's warm enough. Should be in the mid 70s tomorrow. Even though it's still windy, and maybe some rain coming in for Friday night. 68 degrees windy now at the talk that rocks Texas. The new 105.3 FM talk. I'm eating again. Yes, you are. I'm almost done. Finished. All right, so sea monkey water ready? Water for the sea monkeys has been prepared. It'll be ready for tomorrow for hatching. And then how long before you can see uh, the sea monkeys? They say about two days before you actually physically can see them. See the, the little container there? It has little magnifying glasses built into it so you can see them. Oh, that's cool. And that was only 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks at Spencer's. How long before they learn to read? I don't read. Well, that's what the book says. Yeah, it does. I don't know that I would set that aquarium on top of that computer. That's a good idea. That's it, okay. All right. What did you bring today, Eddie? Uh... I can't remember what they're called. MIDI files. Rock. I got rock tunes and I got TV themes. Now, some of these are kind of obscure on the TV themes. I thought it would be kind of fun to... Hmm. Obscure as in what generation of shows? It is just throughout. I mean, but it's it's theme songs and it's MIDI files, so there, it's, sometimes it's hard to... What are you up for, Everett? Uh, I don't care. I quit watching new television shows after about 1983. Sucks to be you. Are they that late? Uh, now there's a lot of them that are uh, the majority of them are before that. All right, let me have that one. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, is everybody playing? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on, there's some guy on the phone about a forklift. Dan, we we have stuff to give away. 
Yes, we do. We got uh, tickets for Rob Zombie. All right. Go ahead, Kenny. Hey, Russ. Hey, I was just going to let you know I'm a, I'm a forklift mechanic by trade. Mm-hmm. And um, it's not the forklift that came off. It was The forklift was chained down pretty good. It was the mast, which is actual uh, lifting mechanism. And it probably weighs uh, by itself 10,000 pounds. The truck itself was a 155, which is a 15,000 pound lift, mm-hmm. which is is pretty. That's a. Uh, if the whole thing would have come off, it would have been real disastrous. I mean, not, it's not that it wasn't disastrous. It's just it, it would have caught more than one car. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, it's uh, I couldn't, and it had uh, 12 foot force on it, which are. I mean that. Now, when you say the mass, is that the thing that that actually lifts the 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 platform of the forklift up and down? Correct. Yes. Where, where you see the chain inside? Yes. All right. Yes, that's what came off, and uh, it. I, I've never seen anything just break off like that. That's uh, that's amazing. I just. Well, well I, I guess you know if you're going fifty, sixty miles an hour and you hit concrete, something's got to give. Something's got to give. Oh well, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. All right. So, thank, thank you, Ken. Uh, All right. Bye bye. Still very nice of you to send the check over to the family. I appreciate it. After my call. They shot? Yes. I'm going to eat on the air. Okay. I'm sorry. Are you done? I just think you died. I guess I am. We're ready to play. I guess so. I've got four people lined up. There's four of us playing, right? Yes. What are we playing anyway? I missed it. I forget. What are we playing, Eddie? I guess it's kind of Jeopardy. I didn't really load us. Let me load the Jeopardy thing. It'll be some form of Jeopardy. We're not really sure what. Okie doke. But we're playing for the listeners. Yes. Okay. This is Dumbass Jeopardy. And here's the host of Dumbass no. Jeopardy, Please. Russ Martin. Okay, what are we playing for today, Dan, on Dumbass Jeopardy? Why we're playing for a pair of tickets to see Rob Zombie this Friday at the Bronco Bowl in Dallas. Tickets are still available at all Star Tickets locations. All right. Let's see. I see you got uh, Anthony lined up. So you're playing for Anthony. I'm playing for Mike. Everett's playing for Bob. And then J.D.'s playing for Ruben. Right. All right. Who's going to come up over here? Sorry, Ruben. <laughs> well, it depends on what form of Jeopardy we're playing. Uh, it's uh, TV themes. Oh, okay. All right. You ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Dan. Russ, go. One of the X-Files. Correct. That, yeah, that would have been the one for Dan. I have never even watched the show. Neither, neither have I. Not even once. DeWine is big on it. Every time I call, whatever night that it's on, I would call over there. You can hear it in the background. The theme from Wonder Years, with a little help from my friends. Oh, I was right. It was a deal. <laughs> I should get credit for that. Did you, know. you say the Wonder Years? No. Never watched that one either. <laughs> it's after 83. That was one of those shows that you watched if absolutely nothing else was on. Yeah. And then you did... Or that. you just wait for little Winnie's <laughs> things to pop in. She grew up to be Winnie Winnie. Really? Yeah, I saw her on some show about two weeks ago, and she is like 100% woman now. I don't know if they're fake or what. I love go back at uh, TV shows and look at the girl and go, I know how you're going to grow up. Mm-hmm. Like that, uh, is that chick from Punky Brewster? Oh, uh, Saloon Moon Fry. Saloon Moon Fry, yeah. You had to have fresh productions. Yeah. yeah. How great is that? You cans are so big, you got to get them cut back and still be a piece. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bring the dancers back. Too late, they're gone. You're just on your own. 
Well, you know exactly what they were going to do. They were going to rub my thing mm -hmm. and then leave me hanging. Exactly. <laughs> my eyes are watering. Mm -hmm. All right, next TV thing. twitching from not masturbating. Do you see it? I, see it. <laughs> I thought you were trying something in your eye. No. It's going to become a nervous condition. Only a week. My yeah. eye is half left. My eye's twitching and I'm breaking out. Uh huh? You'll have Tourette's by this time tomorrow. <laughs> F! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm listening to. I have never heard that before in my life. Uh, it's a big 80s hit. All right, what is it, Eddie? David Lynch. Twin Peaks. Oh. i never watched that either. Another one I didn't no. watch. Mm -mm. I'm going to suck at this. Can we do Rock? Russ. Russ, go. What is Star Trek? Correct. Thank you. Next. Let's go. Everett. I've done out. Everett. Oh, Everett go. What is South Park? Correct. <laughs> I was about to go with Knight Rider. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen to the very beginning. It sounds like the... Yeah. I would... Yeah, it does. And then after that, I just got screwed. Pretty sneaky. Dan. Dan, go. The Simpsons. Chris. What are the Simpsons? Rusko, what is Seinfeld? Correct. This is a cartoon, isn't it? It's, it's one I never watch. Isn't it? Huh? Oh, uh, it's uh, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh. Please make it stop. No. Whatever it is. Dan knows it. You gotta quit it. Oh. Everett. Everett, go. What is uh, Ren and Stimpy? Correct. <laughs> I just went blank. I couldn't. I thought it was the other one where the guy's standing out front and drinking the beer and he's talking to his buddies. What is that one? King of the Hill. King of the Hill. Yeah, that's what I thought yeah. it was. I don't know. Yeah, it sounded a little bit That doesn't sound like happy, happy, joy, joy. No. At least many mixed miles. in there. Shut up. I, that's JD's thing. I can't tell. It's a real song. I got it right. I'm complaining. Yeah, even when he, you said the other one, I still didn't hear it. And I watched that part. Bryce, Dan, let's go. What is uh, Perry Mason? Correct. What you say, Everett? I like how you, you call it, you, you ring in, and then you let it play for a while. What is, uh, da -da, and you let it play for oh, a while. Oh, he knew what it was. That was I easy. Know. Yeah. You uh -huh. got to start making it, you got to stop it when you answer. I'll stop it. Okay. <sighs> you do this in court, don't you? No, we don't play Jeopardy in court. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, he's staring at me. He breathed. He's on my side of the court. <laughs> That's right. Over there, prosecutor. Everett. There we go. What is Tales from the Dark Side? Incorrect. Oh. Damn. And go. What are Tales from the Crypt? Incorrect. Oh, man. Bryce. Let's go. What is Night Gallery? Incorrect. Shoot. We all lost point on that one. Jamie didn't. Actually. What is it? The Outer Limits. Ah, that was close. Rod Serling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not The Outer Limits. Yes, it is. It is not. Yeah, it's The New Outer Limits. Oh, oh huh. Oh, we don't do new versions of old TV shows. You just said The Outer Limits on the file. The Outer Limits is da 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 Now, that's, that's Twilight Zone. Oh, whatever. 
Okay. Twilight Zone. <laughs> I hit that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get a point. Oh, that's right. Oh, Dan. Dan, go. What is the Muppet Show? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Took a minute. <laughs> I was about to ask, are these actually American TV shows? <laughs> There's just something kind of apropos about Dan getting the Muppet show. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Did he say what is the Muppet show? Yes. Yeah. All right. Russ. Russ, go. One of the monsters, correct. The one I could have gotten. <laughs> Go ahead, say it, J.D. Say it. Some was in my ear. I got to say it. I got to figure it out. It's a, it's a locust season. No. Talk to you and come back from the clinic. your name first. I was about to go, I... Well, what a rotten way I... to win a game. That's the one time. It's the one show I know. I don't know these. I'm watching it on TV, I guess. All right. Everybody slow down a little bit for J.D. No. Go right ahead. Okay. Maybe we'll bring in some Tardos and you can play against them. I haven't them. said a word yet, and Ever and Dan only beat me by one. So. <laughs> Right. Let's go. What is it going? JD. Hey, Everett. Everett. Good. Hi, I'm JD. What is, JD? Mm-hmm. What is uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus? Correct. Hey. Colonel Bogey's March. Actually, what was I about to say? Actually, that's not Homer. correct. Oh. It's called the Liberty yeah. Bell March. Yep. That's what I have written down. Oh, you lose a point. <laughs> I used to play that march. It was Colonel Bogey's. Yeah, tell him, Dan. Eddie. Played it in band over and over and over and yeah, over. Dan and over played and over. it. Yeah. Dan played Russ. it, Everett. No, I ain't got to look at nothing. Dan played it. Okay. Hey, Never mind what it says on Eddie's piece of paper. Okay. Dan played it. Dan was in band. Oh, yeah. He's at all of his fingers. <laughs> Everett. Everett, go. Ah! Yeah. Yaha! Uh-huh. I'm going to play the tape back. Mm-hmm. That was pretty close. Where's the debt? Right there. For re-election. Go ahead. You can have it. No, it's fine, really. I don't want it anymore. fingers. <laughs> Ever. Ever again. Uh-huh. Who was it? I really think it was Ever. I'm going to play fine. the tape. Fine. Take Do it, it again. Fraction of I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> Go ahead, Everett. What is mash? Jenny. Jenny, go. What is the Mary Tyler Moore show? Correct. Yeah, you got two. I should have got that. Shut up, Dan. Yeah, but J.D. said his name too quick. <laughs> and I didn't know it. That's the way he got it. Damn, yeah. MIDI files. And Dan, seeing as how J.D.'s beating you, I don't think I'd really try to rat him out too bad just yet. Oh, okay. Russ. Let's go. Uh, what is uh, 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 Married with Children? Correct. Oh, jeez. Well, the actual name of the song threw me off because it's Love and Marriage and Marriage. I'm sorry if I answered before you could jump in. I never flew. Katie, <laughs> <laughs> what is Love American Style? Incorrect. Dan. Right. Good guy, Dan. What is the Love Boat? Correct. I knew that. These are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to beat JD up. He does it for ah, us. Uh. Dang. Here you go. What is Simon and Simon? Incorrect. Uh, all right, I'm going to guess here. Bryce. Let's go. What is the time tunnel? Incorrect. I'm close, close though. Very close. Everett. Here we go. What is Lost in Space? Correct. <laughs> Everett and Russ now tied at three. Dan has one. I'm back to zero. Bryce. Let's go. What is Bugs Bunny? Correct. Looney, Looney Tunes. Tunes. Wait a minute. You can't give him that. Hey, it was called so many damn things. It's Looney Tunes. It's not Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny was just one of many characters. 
He's right. Yeah. Who is? I am right. Everett's right on this one. Yeah. It was the Looney Tunes. Yeah, game. it's the Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny's not right. Sorry. Was Bugs Bunny a Looney Tune? No, he wasn't a Looney Tune. He was a little rabbit that ran around and got shot at by Elmer Fudd. And that's not Looney. <clears throat> I don't want... Th- <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to abandon this conversation. All right. I don't get the point. Yeah, I get But that. I don't lose a point. Okay. Still time. Because that's a gray area. I... I'll go with you on that. Thank you. You said you were going to say gray hair, weren't you? (laughs) I just let it go. Russ. Let's go. What is the Lone Ranger? Correct. They're about to make that a movie again. You're kidding me? Yeah. Somebody said they're making the Hulk into a movie. They're they're raping everything. Uh, Somebody's about to take uh, the time tunnel, uh, see... Uh, hunt. See Hunt. I <laughs> saw <laughs> uh, a bunch of 60s shows. Yeah. Lost, nah, I forget. But just like four or five of them. And they're going to try and rework movies because nobody else can think of new stuff. We're out. Didn't they do Lost in Space and it bombed? Yeah. yeah. The only good part was seeing what they're facing, the tight thing, the, the boobs. and uh-huh. <laughs> Heather Graham? No. Uh, Mimi Rogers? Yeah, Mimi Rogers. Yeah. Rick Mams. <laughs> bitch. There we go. Who are the Jetsons? Correct. <laughs> okay. Hey. Russ. Russ, go. What is I Love Lucy? Correct. Or the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. Very nice. <laughs> Just in case Everett was going to jump me on that. <laughs> I was thinking it. Russ, Russ, go. I dream of Jeannie. Everybody is about to have a fit. <laughs> well, I didn't see what he did. His head just quivered and he jerked it real hard. <laughs> like having a Tourette moment there. Oh, uh, yeah. Just trying to see how few points you have, Dan. Improvement. Oh. It was a big hit, though. But a, not a very memorable theme song. Mm-hmm. And it was after 1983. <laughs> Russ, Russ what is Hogan's Heroes? Correct. That was very nice. <laughs> yeah, just with the drum beat, you got that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Russ, go. What is Hawaii Five O? Correct. Damn. Okay, where's your list? I don't have a list. <laughs> I don't trust you. Because I just saw the drum beats. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, when it started, I was going to guess the A team. Yeah. And then that uh, other couple of things kicked in, and I knew. So I had time to think about it. I thought it was the A team. Russ, Russ, go. Uh, what is Happy Days? Correct. By Pratt and McLean. <laughs> Thank you. Pratt and McLean, very good. Mm-hmm. Who did it originally? Happy Days. It was written for the TV show. The song. Bill Haley. That's Rock Around the Clock. Rock Around the Clock. Yeah. That's a different song. Right, but that was the original song on Happy Days. Original opening thing. Yes. Yeah. Good. Right. <laughs> Who's got Tourette's? <laughs> you know what sucks about this is I've got this figured out now. Your name's only one syllable. Mine's three. So you're done say, before I even get started. Just say E. E. <laughs> What's close <here? laughs> I forgot the damn song now. Uh, what is Get Smart? <laughs> so now it's down to syllables. <laughs> That's right. I need a one-syllable name now. E. Just use E. All right. When we get the buzzers put in. <gasps> uh, wait, 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 wait. We can't play now. Hang on, hang on. And they're going to have the lights. That yes. Out. The big one's like on pressure lights. Yes. And they'll lock in. So whoever rings in first is locked in. Is it going to go... I, I don't know. Is it going to sound and... I don't, I don't care. We can bring Valerie in. You can punch her in the neck. <laughs> and we'll make that noise. I just don't really care. Rice. 
Never go. What is Friends? No, that came on after 1983. Rusko? <laughs> <laughs> That's cruel. Yeah, it's inescapable, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I dated the chick. You used to make me sit there and watch that. watch that show. It's terrible. I don't even get the open. What is that? Everybody's dancing around a fountain? Who knows? I guess I their friends. Friends do that. We dance around a fountain and sit on a couch out in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. If that's what having friends is like, I'm glad I'm a recluse. <laughs> What is uh, that show? No, I, no, I'm not done answering here. <laughs> what is that show with Kelsey Grammer? Oh, oh it is Frasier. Correct. <laughs> I was going to guess the Adams Family. <laughs> <laughs> Rice Fairy. What are the Flintstones? Correct. <laughs> I forgot to say E. <laughs> Katie, want to tell a joke? No. <laughs> Now's the perfect time? No, thank you. I'm yeah, sure. No jokes. Okay. Sans jokes. This is some kind of medical thing. All right, I'm going to get. Rice. Rice, go. What is saying elsewhere? Incorrect. Dan. Dan, go. What is ER? Correct. Another one I don't watch, but it's current. <laughs> Dan. There we go. <laughs> Dan, go ahead. <laughs> hey. What? You ain't answered yet. I'm laughing at Dan. I'm not done. What is it? It's the Dick Van Dyke Show. <laughs> the one to laugh at was, I was I said, laughing at What is the Dick Van Dyke Show? I already said it. <laughs> I was laughing at Russ. He looked like a goldfish. He couldn't get his, any sound to come out. I couldn't think of what it was. <laughs> I just like wait. Everett answers. <laughs> Everett spring loaded. At least I didn't have a sea monkey look on my face. <laughs> he gets really mean. You notice? Er- yeah, he does. Yeah. I don't. Even mean. when he's winning, it becomes very personal with you. No, it yes, doesn't. it does. No, I'm just jumping at the buzzer. We know this. Oh, Russ. Rusko. What is Dallas? Correct. <laughs> All the ones to lock up on. <laughs> How many cuts are on here? Uh, 45 altogether. How good? We're about done. <laughs> What? We've already done almost 45. I don't care. <laughs> I'm having fun. I don't care what it sounds like in the car. I got a four year contract. Beat me. <laughs> We're going to play MIDI files until April of 2006. <laughs> there we go. What is Cheers? Right. You know, I never really, really watched that when it was on uh, uh, the first go round. I've been watching the reruns on Nick at Night. It's not a badly written show. No, not at all. And I know that sounds stupid, but there were a lot of highly rated shows that absolutely sucked. Yes. Love Boat. Wow. That was a dumping ground for B actors. Oh, yeah. Jeffersons? Wasn't much funny about the Jeffersons oh, if you I, watched it. I got to disagree with you on that. The Jeffersons. The Jeffersons was high comedy. It that was, was not, not a well written show. It was a wonderful It was show. horrible. All the. Uh, I know why JD didn't like it. Oh, hush. <laughs> Give me in this. You can't watch that. Everything had to be a one liner, and a lot of them went, weren't funny. And the acting sucked. Are you kidding? That Franklin cover? <laughs> <laughs> Roxy Rucker's husband? The only time that the, the show was worth watching was when George danced. That was it. And what about his mother? She's one of the underrated comedic geniuses of our time. Cut short, I might add. In the prime of her career. I think Everett's just proved my point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Jefferson's rules. They blew. No, they didn't. When they were on with All in the Family and they were using their writers, their characters were more crass and believable. It was just it blew when they went. They became two dimensional when they got their own shows. Just yeah. cardboard cutouts, comedy. You realize, of course, we're having this discourse on the Jeffersons. I don't care. Hi, <laughs> 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 whatever the hell my name is. Go ahead. <laughs> What is uh, peanuts? Correct. Technically I, technically, I believe that's Schroeder's theme. Well, that's the name of the song, not the show, my friend. Carry on. Got you. That's, that's Or right. any Charlie Brown special, any of the above would fit. 
Well, then why come the Bugs Bunny don't cover under the Looney Tunes? that wasn't tunes. the name of the show. It was called the Bugs Bunny Show. But no, they that used... came later, and they used a different theme song. And the Jeffersons were funny. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> this is that Three Stooges thing all over again. Curly was a waste of time. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a oh, no. Don't even go there. You. Don't start picking fights. Come on, y'all. Curly was, Curly was useless. Get Shemp carried them for the ooh, last... Ooh, I'm Shemp. Look at my hair. My hair is so funny. Look at it. It hangs down in my face. I'm so humorous. My hair. Look. Ooh, ooh, you're a grown man with an education. You're arguing about the three stooges. Stop it. This is an important what issue. of a game. <laughs> I hear Curly was queer. <laughs> Only because Shemp was blowing him. <laughs> oh, oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I can hit to the... No, it's didn't too late the... now. It's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Jay, you want to jump in with another forklift? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh. It just got me out of the barrel. <laughs> That's the other way Shemp got work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're hiding this part at 5.30. Mo's looking down on top of his head going, ooh, nice hair. All right. <laughs> really, that's enough. Queerly, Jim. <laughs> now, I'll get a memo from Bob about that. Why do you hit the delay? I didn't know if I should. Well, actually, call I him. missed. <laughs> yeah. I slapped that. Get a bigger button. <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh oh. Russ. Uh -uh. Russ. Ah! I can tell you it was me because I said my name and you were still in the process of jumping. <laughs> <laughs> still going vertical. Well, there you go. Proof positive. Must I play the tape? No, no, go right ahead. I think you're right. right. You got I, the other one. No, I was on your side. No, I'm agreeing. I think Russ got that. But it's the Brady Bunch. Correct. <laughs> Russ. That's good. What is Bonanza? Correct. And that little piece of ass hop scene. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whatever it is, Eddie, don't say it. No. Everett. Everett, go. What is that? Uh, uh, Bewitch. Right. Dan. I said it. Bewitch. What is Bewitch? Get I think ass. I chimed. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my damn point. <laughs> God. Bunch of vultures. When you don't get it forever to think about it. Uh, 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 uh. Rush. Rush. Yes. But it's Beverly Hillbillies. Correct. Bald headed queer. Shit. Same. He's a little stuff. JD. JD go. What is the six million dollar man? Incorrect. Everett. Everett go. What is Chariots of Fire? Incorrect. <laughs> no idea. Rush. Let's go. What is Curly with a fag? <laughs> correct. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's absolutely incorrect. What is it? Baywatch. No. <laughs> oh. The way Chip ever got a job because Curly had a stroke. <laughs> That's true. That no. is true. Chip was out of work till Curly had a stroke. No, yeah, they was. Chip, was, Actually, Chip was originally part of the vaudeville team. Yes, the original and he team. didn't want to. He was scared to go. And do uh, the movies. That's why I didn't do it. So, actually, Curly subbed for uh, uh, Shemp. No, they took one look at Shemp and said, there's no way we're putting uh, excuse this me. on our TV show. You're going to go with the facts or you're going to make jokes? No, I'm not making jokes. Yes, yeah, sure. well, It wasn't are. a TV Shep. show at the time. It was movies. Sure. The facts are. The facts are Shemp, Shemp was supposed to be Curly. it. Curly. Curly replaced Shemp. Shemp started and then Curly came in. And Curly had to have a stroke the before the Shemp. I don't gone. care. The point is, Curly replaced Shemp. Look at my hair. I'm so funny. E -bee 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 -bee. Yee, beep, 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 beep. Oh, and what did Curly do? <laughs> oh, he had the neck, neck, neck. What? Did... <laughs> well, then I'll just shut up. The prosecution rests. <laughs> <laughs> 
Everett, Everett go. Uh, who are the... Uh, the uh, You're out. Dan. Go ahead, Dan. What is uh, the Andy Griffith Show? Correct. I almost said Mayberry RFD. <clears throat> that would have worked. They use the same thing for Mayberry? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did they? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Actually, your answer was inc- incorrect because you didn't say both. <laughs> uh, nah, he's only got three points. Who cares? Everybody doesn't get to play anymore. Uh, he just pissed about him. Russ Pitt. Russ <laughs> What is the Adams family? Correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to figure out what Everett said when he said Shim. We, we have jacked around so long on this. Some of the people we were playing for hung up. <laughs> I don't care. Four years. <laughs> April of 2006. <laughs> Post composition. Yeah, it does. I'll take a wild stab at it. Ever, ever go? What is Hardcastle and McCormick? Incorrect. That was Drive. Danny, I'm out. Sounds like something we should know, but no, we know probably it? not. It's nine hundred two one zero. Oh, oh, you never <laughs> watched that one either. No, was that the last one? That was it. All right, Dan. What's the uh, score there? I don't know. Final score: JD's oh. got none. Dan three. Everett seven. Fourteen for us. What was I playing All for? All right, Mike? congratulations, Mike. Good thing you held on because you win a pair of tickets to see Rob Zombie this Friday at the Bronco Bowl in Dallas. Tickets are still available at the All-Star Ticket locations. And Eddie and Everett were right. I was incorrect. The director of the Arlington School District's music program called in. Colonel Bogey March is the theme from Bridge Over the River. I Point. don't give a rat's ass. More of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. That's live. Is it live? Jonas, say you talk about. That's the wrong button. You get the idea. Yeah. Well, it told me three or four times he was live. And that was kind of a laid back show. Well, that doesn't mean all of a sudden you just blurred out a word. He knew he was live. He goes, hey, Jonas said you guys talk about all the time. Yeah, but not in that context. No. And where were you that you couldn't come back and do your own spot? I was in the kitchen. I asked three times before I left. Do I have a spot? Do I have a spot? Do I have a spot? I'm going to the office to get cokes for everybody. The kitchen's not that far away. We were hollering in the hall for you. I didn't hear it. Sorry. The dishwasher's on in there. Hargit's in my ear. Dishwasher's on. <laughs> Curly's in your ass? Nope. <laughs> no, it's just, yeah. Yep. No. Let's do news. Okay. It was the last time we did it. Quite a while ago, wasn't it? You want to do the audio? Yeah, time. go ahead. We'll do audio. I don't really care. Hey, Dan, did you, the, the chick that's going to be here, uh, that's going to teach me... F- Stop it with the bug eyes! Yes. The chick that's going to teach me the uh, French uh-huh. for Rebecca Lord that's coming Friday. Yeah. Can you get a hold of her? Uh, let me try. Again. I'd like to do a... Um, a test run? Yeah, to see how it's uh, see if it's going to work or not. Having her tell me, speak French in my ear to see if I can uh, make it sound like I'm pulling it off. Okay. Thank you. And we never what? Uh, didn't you take French in school? No. What Spanish. Did you take? Spanish. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't remember any of that. Okay. I took it in high school, and I took a couple of years in college. Okay. Gone. I knew. I remember you saying you taking some language. I didn't remember. Well, that. Rebecca Lord is French. Oh. So I can do the Spanish, but I don't think she get that much out of it. You should tell her. Je ne mange pas mon stylo souvent, s'il vous plaît. I was going to say vous la vous un sac a. <laughs> <laughs> but yours sounds nicer. That's good too. Huh? And that means what? I do not eat my pencils often, if you please. Go ahead, Eddie. There it is. <laughs> and we never got that phone camera thing from Maury yet, either. Mm-mm. I saw it, though. It's really cool. Well, I wanted to have it Friday so we could take pictures in the studio. Do you no. know about the phone yet? No, I don't. Neat. Is Maury supposed to do a spot today? Yes, he is. Is he? Is he supposed to do it now? Uh, about 50. Ah, screw it. Let me just call him. I forgot his number. Now, quit. Somebody call Maury at the store. Tell him to call in nine seven two six two zero 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 zero. What are you gonna tell me? I'll let Maury call. Okay. I don't want to do it twice. It's a cool phone. Though. I saw it. Really? Though. Yeah. All right. You take pictures with it. 
and you immediately you take like if I took a picture right now of you and I had it programmed properly in a minute and a half or up to five minutes it'll be on the web and that's a phone yeah it's a cellular phone it, it, it takes the picture and transfers to the the, the sent to a website or, or a web a website or like a web address like your email you can email it you can send it phone to phone because it's got a color display probably about inch and a half by inch and a half mm -hmm. something like that so we can take pictures here in the studio, out in the parking lot, in the garage, uh, the uh, bathroom when Walker's, you know, dropping a boat. <laughs> Five minutes, it'll be on the web. You take pictures with a phone. Yeah. Are you not grasping that? No, we just used to call those cameras. It's a cellular phone with a camera on it. God! <laughs> well. I think I got it now. <laughs> it's a cellular phone with a camera attachment. I don't even want it now. You plug the camera in the bottom. It sounds it remarkable. comes off and it just becomes a regular phone. It wow. was remarkable up until a couple of seconds ago, and I can't stand talking about it. <laughs> he was supposed to give me one Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. They just got him in Monday. And I don't have one why. I don't know. He have not been by there. All right. Let's do news while we... Now there's Turd. <laughs> hey. Hey. Thank Turd. Who is this? This is Beard again. What do you mind? So we, so we did not go out live, right? But we're still on the air. Oh, okay. Good job. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's the question? The, the question is, how long are we going to be on the air? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to tell you, enjoy being with you guys. I hope that everything goes... Get lost. <laughs> what is it with you and your client? I don't know. What his deal is? What happened? Oh, you weren't in here when he's he said in the it. kitchen. Oh. Oh, that's right. I had to hit the delay. Nobody heard it. Yeah. Well, it keeps going. Are we on the air? Is it live? Yeah, it's live. And then about the time we convince him that it's live, yeah. he goes, Ah, hey, Jonas uh, said the other day that you guys were talking about... I just turned to myself. You guys were talking about the air. Yeah, and we're still on the air. I just think it's a laid-back show. He's used to guys like, you know, Charlie Jones. Well, on the show now, we have. Thanks for calling. You know, that kind of thing. I tried to convince him several times we're on the air. He still didn't think he went out. <laughs> he just asked. And he just calls back. Well, eh. When's that going to go out? <laughs> when you get edit that up. I bet you they turn out to be a problem. <laughs> well, if they do, they do. We ain't paying for those spots. I'm calling somebody's house. <laughs> That's what it is. That's somebody's house. You guys don't even... <laughs> I ain't paying you. <laughs> I called up. We talked about Poontang, and that was it. Okay. All right. Did I hit the music yet? No. Is that the French check? Oh, all right. Every how much French do you know? <laughs> Other than the pencil thing. Yeah, I, I took a couple years in college, but I don't remember a whole lot of it. Okay. You there, Heather? Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to take you off the air. I'll be the only one to, uh, that'll be able to hear you. Let's see how this is going to work. Okay. All right. Okay, let's say uh, Rebecca Lord is in here, and I want to tell her that she has beautiful eyes. Just tell me what it is. She's carrying on the conversation. She goes, oh, that's good. I, that's, I wanted to tell you how to say that. Ah, you're going to have to say it slower. I don't want one of the expression. Give it to me monotone and break it into syllables. Here we go. You said, what about my eyes, bro? She's okay. just giving me senses. Well, here's what you do. All right, I just, let's pretend she's in the studio. I'm glad I went through this before she got here. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Okay. Don't say anything else in English. Okay. Just tell me what I need to say in French. I'm going to take you back off the air so I'm the only one that can hear you. All right. I will now tell Rebecca Lord she has beautiful eyes. What about my eyes, Ross? Taylor. Excuse me. I have something in my throat. All right. That's going to be another clue there. If I start to cough, uh -huh. that means I didn't get it and repeat it. Okay. All right. Here we We're going to test again. Here we go. Slow. All right. What about my eyes? Taylor. Yes. <laughs> uh-huh. This is not going to work. She ain't getting it. Is it Kel? Kel. Uh-huh. Kel. Kel. Say it again. Kel jolis yeux. Give me something else. Kel easy. jolis yeux. Shut up. Exactly stop showing right. off. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Rooster you. Rooster blower. Should I say it with an American accent? J don't, don't add any French accent to it. Just anglicize don't it. add any French accent to it? Yeah. Okay. Give me a few phrases right now. Okay, I'll say it as American as I can. All right, let's hear something. Okay. Tell Jolie's Je. Tell Jolie's Je. Oh, it was better before. Who's that other guy? He said it real good. <laughs> That's Dan. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, you could say, 
I, your breasts are supple. Ah, vos seins sont souples. <laughs> All right, souple, I got it. Say it okay. again. Vos, vos seins, seins sont, sont souples. Souple. Wouldn't he want to say tu instead of vous if they're being that familiar? Well, it depends because you like say Spanish? voulez-vous coucher avec moi. Yeah. Oh, I know that one from the song. Right. right. So they, they use woo for that. Yeah. Well, we're not well, talking well, popular what, songs. What is uh, gitchy gitchy ay 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 ay? What does that, that mean? That means nothing. Oh. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it's, it's to satisfy Dan, if you want to use two, you could say, tes seins sont souple. I'm going to have to go for like one word things. I can't do okay. sentences. Um, or you could say, tu es si belle. What's the first word? Tu. Tu. Uh huh. A. A. C. C. Belle. Belle. Mm-hmm. Tracy Belle. And that is, you are so beautiful. Tracy Belle. Exactly. Oh, how about, oh, this, okay, screw this. I don't actually have to speak French. Mm-hmm. I may be a couple of words here and there. Right. But as she speaks to me in French, right. then Heather can translate. It would be like the UN. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then you can translate, and I can answer her. I'll go, you know what? My accent's really bad. I'll just answer you in English. Yeah, you okay. speak to me in French, I'll answer you in English. Perfect. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. I'm glad we got all this worked out. We'll try. Yeah, that. We'll do a little... A quick run where he says something in French and she gives you the... Okay. We'll give it a shot. All right, Everett, say something. A- uh, and, Heather, you'll give me the response. All right, go ahead. Uh, tu manger uh, vous stylo souvent, mm. mademoiselle? Just say it. She's critiquing your French. Just say it. Well, it's funny you would ask. I do eat my pen often. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> <I'll work. laughs> do you have another phrase? No, that's pretty much it. Uh-huh. Or something. Okay. Okay. When we do this on Friday, just immediately translate. Okay. Uh, even if she's got bad French. She won't. Well, she might. Well, she might say something really, really awful. She is. Uh... And if she says something nasty in French, I'll need to know immediately so I can hit the delay. Yeah, but you know, this is Texas. I mean, how? where are you broadcast? Everywhere? I mean... It doesn't matter. I don't think you can do profanity in any language. Okay. Swallow that. <laughs> <laughs> it's back in the back of the head. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. All right, so you're all set for Friday then. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Dan, what time is uh, Rebecca Lord on Friday? Five o'clock. All right. Five o'clock. Rebecca Lord. Yes. I think her website is just RebeccaLord.com if you'd like to go take a look at her. Oh, um, that's okay. I just, it's only naked women. Oh, naked women? With really? beautiful abs mm-hmm. and a tight butt. Oh, no. And souple breasts. <laughs> Et les seins souple. You know, maybe I should go ahead and, and get a few phrases memorized. Yeah, the French accent is easy. Just pretend you're Pepe Le Pew. That's really all you have to do. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Bonjour, ma chérie. Qu'est-ce que vous êtes belle ce soir? Something about how are you? Uh, do you want to go to bed tonight? Something tonight. I don't know. Uh, but is that phrase correct in that song? That voulez-vous coucher avec toi ce soir? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Avec moi. Uh huh. Ce soir. That's. Would you like to go to bed with me yeah. this evening? And the gitchy gitchy ay 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 ay. That doesn't mean anything. That means absolutely nothing. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like you that part. Too. Well, I used to use that with chicks sometimes. Yeah. Gitchy gitchy ay ay ay. <laughs> yeah, I like that part too. But yeah. oh well. All right. Uh, you can say gitchy, gitchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, do you want to say where you teach French? Um, sure. Um, UT Arlington. Are you, an act- are you actually a prof there? I am, at this point, I am a assistant. I'm an assistant prof. I'll have my own classes all to myself next semester. Well, are you, are you beautiful? Yes, I am. Mm. Inside and out. There's nothing hotter than a chick speaking French. Oh, man. I'm just kidding. If they're a hot chick. Yeah. yeah. Fat chicks, it doesn't do anything. No. The only time you talk to fat chicks speaking French is you're ordering. No, if they're fat, it's <laughs> les mou. Yeah. <laughs> le mou, le mou. All right. Well, then I'll uh, I'll be speaking to you Friday, then. All right. Terrific. Thank you, sweetie. All right. All right bye-bye. Bit. All right. Well, I'm glad we got that worked out. Yeah, Otherwise, I'd never been able to do that. Practice run. Okay. Good. Break any? Yes. We didn't even start. Talk to her for ten minutes. Oh. <clears throat> Dan, has the guy called back? Has the uh, beard called back yet? No, no, not yet. <laughs> 
His name they, was they do Beard. That. They do that sometimes. And it's what? always JD's clients. Yeah. So why do you get the stupid ones? What do you mean? What do they do? What do they do? They, they call back they after. They call back after their spot. How was that? Was that all right? Oh, it's just these guys because they're not here. They want to see how it went on the air. <laughs> it's not on the air. <laughs> We need to do that the next time he calls. You go, ah, we've been screwing with you. You're not really on the air. Never have been. <laughs> They're all taped by. Yeah. We don't even have a radio station. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Is that Maury? Yes, it is. All right. We'll officially go into the break and make it sound like a real show. More of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. We didn't do news, right? No. We even get into it? Started one story and then sort of got sidetracked. Oh. And then uh, do you have a sponsor? Uh, yeah, Quiznos. Toast. Well, we'll start again. Oh, I didn't know him. Are we in the air? Not sure. Let me see what this guy wants and we'll start. What is it, Lucas? Hey, guys. Uh, hey, Everett. Hey. It's Friday. The show's only good on Wednesdays and Friday when you're on. Hey, uh. I you're gotta- stoned, aren't you? Hey, uh, is it illegal <laughs> yes, to sir. teach somebody how to do something that's illegal? Well, it depends on what it is. And the reason I say that is because there is a rather broad statute that the crime is actually engaging in an organized criminal activity, engaging in organized crime. And that uh, is pretty broad in that if you are involved in, for example, teaching someone how to kite checks or abuse credit cards and you say, here, take this credit card to Sears or whatever and defraud them and this is how you do it, Potentially under a conspiracy theory, you could be labeled a co-conspirator, and that, yes, is very much illegal. But, uh, you know, uh, it, it really depends on what it is that you're teaching another to do. Like how to uh, pirate satellite cards? I think that you're walking the line. Yeah. Quite frankly, I, I would encourage you not to do that. Because I've been doing it for a while. It's kind of worth getting out and getting more and more calls, you know, me coming out. And, yeah, it's kind of getting nervous, you know. I'm just kind Satellite of... like cards to do what? To uh, get all the channels. To, uh, you know. Oh, like for uh, the Dish? Yes. No, not for Dish Network. I wouldn't do that to Dish Network, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, the other <laughs> just direct, TV. direct TV? Exactly. Oh, that's all right, because they yeah. don't advertise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, yeah, you get all the channels, you know, and uh, get, you know, your five porn channels, and, mm-hmm. you know, everything comes in free. Uh, and so... You yeah. want to give out, give out your phone number, get some business? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you, seriously, Lucas, you really need to quit doing that if you get busted. Uh, up until September 1st of last year, engaging in organized criminal activity was a first-degree felony punishable by 5 to 99 or life. Now, Is that a federal pen? No, that's state prison. Oh, that blows. Yeah. Uh, now, I think as of September 1st, they changed the law so that the uh, conspiracy, whatever the felony is that you're conspiring to do, is the level of felony that the organized crime charge is levied at. So if, if you're, you know, what you're doing is a third degree felony, then the, the. I ain't getting any of this. Well, it's bad. Yeah, quit doing it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's the matter, Russ? You're in there helping the console again. <laughs> My weenie. Getting back to... Uh, <laughs> it's all this law talk. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm going to cut it out to do it for my bros. And yeah, yeah, just do it. Yeah, just do it for family. I got to go quick. Yeah. <laughs> the cops are here. <laughs> can't, can't they... Uh, can't the satellite company catch you doing that? Actually, the, the technology is there that allows them to catch you if you have a, a bogus card and you're pirating their signal. Yes. It is possible to do. Eventually, one way or the other, he's going to get nailed. Oh, sure. Or somebody will rat him out. Somebody else will get caught and say, well, the guy told me to do this. He lived right over here. Exactly, because they want the big guy. Where did you get this card? If you'll roll over on him, we're not going to prosecute you. I mean, I see that stuff all the time. Uh-huh. So we want the real bad guy. That's right. Wouldn't be nice to get all the porn channels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't you need them right, right now. now. Huh? I'd pay for you to have the porn channels right now. It'd be worth it for one month. I can't stand that. I know, you're it against the console. Quit it, yeah. It might work out all right. We could post Lucas's bail with all the money that we make. Mm-hmm. Or post Russ's bail, rather, with all the money that we make. Who's Lucas? Lucas, the guy just called. The guy was just on the phone. Oh, I didn't pay that much attention. You ready to start now? Sure. Go ahead and cut yourself <laughs> all you want. Sitting in front of the back computer with your bat mask on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Shining the light on the wall. You... You position it in just the right way, too, don't you, the computer? So Nobody knows what you're talking about. 
<laughs> yes, we do. We Russ do. has a computer hey. that was made for him that, that is all black, has the bat symbol did painted ask, on one side. A, did I ask for it? And B, I don't sit in front of the computer with my Batman outfit on and whack. <laughs> but you Have you cowl? ever? Huh? With a cowl? While I whack? Yeah. No. What side of the computer emits the bat signal? Are you you you're sitting there with in the dark with the light, the bat light on, <laughs> pointing it at the wall in your bat mask. Yeah, citizen. Oh, come on, citizen. <laughs> Swear you've never done it. Swear. What? Worn the cow? Swear that you've never worn any portion of your Batman costume and whacked. Never. never with a date. Ne never. Swear. I swear. Who in here believes this? Mm -hmm. uh. That I've ever worn the Batman outfit? Yeah, or any portion thereof. No gloves, no hat, no belt, no torso, chest plate, nothing. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we believe you. No, we don't. You've, you've don't never done it. People. You've never them. worn it and showed it off to a date or anything like that? Ever, and, then, and maybe ended up with just a cowl and no, you, know, you had sex in that. I have never had sex with a Batman <laughs> outfit on. I bet money that you have. I would too, absolutely. I haven't. Okay, I'm just... you know how? He, have you ever seen it hanging in his closet? Oh yeah, it's got some little special corner. You know how the all the other shoes are pointed toward the wall, mm -hmm. but the boots to the Batman outfit are mm -hmm. pointed out. Out, you got to be ready. Yeah, in case he has to leave in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. I asked him about that. In case I have to leave in a hurry. So you swear to me, you swear that you've never done like a little Batman routine for somebody, jumped into the room. <laughs> Look, I'm Batman. Don't you ever give me a hard time about role playing again. And, and here's you play Batman. Batman. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. What? You've choked the Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Put Abby a little Robin outfit. On the oh, that's just sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you're just really getting sick, Dan. Sick. No. No role playing. None. <laughs> Never. No. You swear. Eddie, go get the lie detector. Okay. Yes, I swear. <laughs> All right. Take line three. Oh, look, it's the commissioner. Line three? Line three. All right. Go ahead, you're on the air. Hey, yeah. have you ever worn the boots? Come on, man. No. <laughs> hey, you said three? Three. Hello? Are you lying? <laughs> oh, put her back. <laughs> no one <laughs> believes you. <laughs> Nobody believes you. No one. What? <laughs> put, put her, her back, back on. on. Yeah. Dan, did you get her? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. What? This is L.A., sweetie. I know who it is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't tell everybody how you came. <laughs> Go ahead. We don't believe you anyway. <laughs> And what? then Abby was running around like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know you put her on hold now. There's nothing to tell. tell us there's no, her, there's no her, story to tell. Let her tell. She something. has nothing to say. Let her tell us that there's tell no her. story. I sound like a real story. Abby, I right? am going to videotape hey. this whole next session. Hey, hey sweetie. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't find your website the other day. What is it? Is it, uh... Oh, you know what it is? Um, the person that took care of it put it on the wrong web server that doesn't hold adult content. So it'll be up in, like, 24 to 48 hours. Yeah. So, tell us about the bat suit. The bat suit? Yeah, did he wear it? It was just the cape and it was the hat because he didn't want to... He thought that... He didn't, shut, you know, up, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You know the breastplate that goes on that's all muscular yeah, with yeah. all those bumps and stuff? Breastplate, yeah. Okay, he didn't want to put that on. Man. It was a little too intimidating. He wouldn't want to put that on. No. Yeah, he wouldn't put that on, no. He just wanted to be shut butt naked up, with his hat and his hat on. I couldn't make him on. I thought it was so at first. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> And then he had a white ass, and I instructed him that he needed to go to, to go tanning. Batman with a white ass. <laughs> yeah, with a white ass. I got it. I hit the delay. We do have an issue, okay? Pamela what? Anderson was on uh, Jay Leno the other night. She was on what? Was, Pamela Anderson was yeah. on Jay Leno last night. Oh, I got night. it. 
And she was talking about her and Kid Rock and how they're together in this net. Well, they get a stripper pole in his bedroom, and you don't. Uh, well, I, I don't need a stripper pole. Why not? Don't you think you would, like, ease things up a little bit? <laughs> I think we Kid had a, Rock has it. I think it's we just, had a I think we had a good enough time when you came over. Sweetheart, if you are as cool as you say that you are, the next time that I come over to your house you should have a triple pole in your bedroom. Never give me a hard time about role playing games. Shut Ever. up. <laughs> she's making it up. She's not making oh yeah, to, to vivid detail, she's making it up. Oh I right, you know what though? I, if I had my way, I would have had him do like the deuce bigelow jigolo on the lampshade where it falls over. <laughs> Do you remember that part? No, I never saw it. Where you're swinging around. Mm -hmm. Honey, you got to see the movie. It's awesome. You're swinging mm -hmm. around a pole. It's not even a pole. It's a lampshade. And then the whole lampshade, like, falls right completely over. If he had a stripper pole, he would have never gone through that. Did you ask her this so ahead of time? I won't make you do the uh, lampshade. She might have mentioned it to me last time I talked to her. If Pamela Anderson's got one, if she's not even a porn star, I think that I deserve one. Yeah, you deserve one because you're a smart porn star. I'm a smart porn star. <laughs> I love to hear Do you her miss talk. Me yet? Yes, I I miss you great. Uh, how's your uh, you? How's your puppy, by the way? Mika, she's yeah. good. She's just a little Mufasa. She's like when I brought. I'm telling you, did you tell the guys when I brought her over your house? She wanted to kick um, Abby's butt. She did not. She wanted to play. She, she's like a five pound. <laughs> S word. <laughs> oh, forget it. That's all right. At least you haven't dropped the F bomb yet. Nope. <laughs> we, were a little, we were a little disappointed last time you were on. It's like, oh, she didn't say the F word. <laughs> you know why, though? I'm trying to get really good, and I'm French, too, and French people have that problem. We do. It's you're, terrible. You're French. Who would know? <laughs> Dave. I'm, Forget about I'm it. Yeah, I'm French. Hey. French. Hey. French. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Parlez-vous français. So you've had French oh, before. <laughs> Uh, so you have uh, you have no intentions in coming into town anytime soon? I want you really bad, but I know I'm going to Houston, but I want to come back to Dallas because I miss you. What? And I want to hang out at your pool naked, too, so all your fans can see. Oh, yeah. Because you, I know you got those cams now. I'm all yeah. up in your house. Do you know he's not whacking for a couple of weeks, and you're really making it? Think of her laying out by your pool. Mm, he hasn't body. been having fun at all? No, no. For, for two weeks, he's going to quit. I See, stopped. There's no self, way. That, that's a lie. I know that's. No, nah, I stopped. Uh, I stopped Sunday night. Oh my God! I went on your internet site really fast, and I saw you dancing at La Bear, and you couldn't even do that. That's all you did. You couldn't even strip. You got naked and jumped in the bed and shut got under up, the cover. Shut up! Shut up! Shut <laughs> up! Taped in the hat. It was so adorable. You wait till I get you next time, boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are history. Look at that tight little body. Mm. I'm going to just... Russ, sir. 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 Oh. I'm not thinking about yours. Oh, what a body. And you know I what, just, it just It still makes me sick that I didn't get any pictures. I would take any kind of picture. I'd let her do the, the frosty on my head. Oh, yes. That's how hot this woman is. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Mm. And I've lost... Oh, uh, I have lost a about... digital camera now, so I can take all kinds of pictures yeah. and send them to you. And I'm a little leaner now. I lost about 10 pounds since I saw you last. Honey, you were already skinny, like... Oh, and like... I got a tanning bed in the house. You can tan there. You don't even have to you leave the house. You did not. Did you really? Yeah. Well, then I can tan nude outside, and I can tan nude inside. <laughs> I can <laughs> hang out at Abby's bar. Yeah. Yeah. I can let Mika kick Abby's butt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. And we can rent some better movies. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not watching... Um, what, what, women, yeah. what women want. Well, we only went through one movie, and it was history after that. Yeah. Yeah. Then it was time Did for you, Batman. Um, <laughs> what, sweetie? Have you trimmed for me? Trimmed? Trim. Trimmed. Have you trimmed your trimmed. Um, area? Oh, yeah. I always keep that clean. Oh, you do? Yeah. You never oh, can I tell. That you would, well, if you're celibate now for two weeks, I'm sure that you just, like, let it go. No, I no? see it. Huh? I see it. All right. If I see it, I keep it trimmed. Nobody well, likes Nobody likes dental floss, sweetheart. No, well, I know what she's talking about. You get down there and buy it. You got your dental floss. All right, how long before your website's back up? Because I was trying to look at it today and it was down. Um, in about 24 hours, I would say 25. Um, no, 24 hours, 48 hours. And you got to do the you got to do the X X X after it. Yeah, it's and you got to you, you got to spell the whole name correctly because I know a lot of guys have a problem with. How come it. you didn't L get? How come you just didn't get L A Lamont? It is L A Lamont. Oh, you know why? Because several people had bought my name. 
and um, no. try to make, you know, you know how it is. When yeah. you're a porn star and when you're doing anything, yeah. everyone wants to try and own your name to see if you'll buy it back or oh, I got try it. and start a website. But it says official website, so it's all me. And you'll know it's me because it's all behind the scenes of everything. Yeah, I saw it because uh, it had a picture of you with uh, some other dog on it. Some other dog. Yeah. Oh, that was from my depth of my home club. You need to see all the good pictures with like Gene Simmons and Ron Jeremy. I don't like. I don't like seeing you with other guys. <laughs> you don't. No. Well, I didn't do them. Okay. Do you want me to send you my new movie? Yes. The, the only one that I have is on videotape and, and it's screwed up. Oh, you know what? Too, I have all DVDs for your butt. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to call me back and let me know what you think let of my go hair. Of it. I'm not letting go of it. Let go you, of dog, it. you don't want to watch me touch it? Turn your head. Uh, uh, <laughs> what do you want? I'm touching it, sweetie. Are you touching yourself? Yes. Oh, you nasty bastard, you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're so nasty. Oh. Uh, Please I come back. That. I'll fly. What would it cost to fly her back? Where are you living then? Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> she finally I dropped it. Want... She finally. Don't say it again. I've already had to hit the delay eight times since you've been on. First of all, I, I want my butt like massaged with hot oil. Oh, yeah. She has all got the, the tightest ass. Great all big firm can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want the full treatment this time. Oh. So Sweetie, I can't talk to you anymore. I'm about to blow up. It's well, been three you know, days out of two weeks. He can't take it. You know, I'm just going to have to, like, FedEx you some stuff tomorrow. Well, she's in Houston. Fly her up from Houston. It's 100 bucks. Yeah, it won't cost you anything. Oh, you know what? I'll be in Houston. Um, it's week coming, so it'll be easier to do that then. Like this Saturday? Um. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll be there. I'm playing in on the 12th, and I get my license, and then this I'll be there. Sure. You know, Russ... But I'll be missing you guys because I love Dallas. Yeah, no. It's not a long drive. You can drive down Friday night after the show. How far is it? Spend the whole week. I don't know, about three, four, about four hours. Yeah. Oh, Go my Katie. God. That no, has to do that bad. Drive down in the speed racer car, put the little helmet on. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> Russ can get lucky <laughs> in a hot tub. I love this woman. God, I am, like, high maintenance this time, though. I want a hot tub and everything. You were high maintenance last time. Well, you know, things never change. What a body. What an absolute <laughs> stunning body. That's, that's, a, <laughs> that's a perfect plan. It gives you plenty of time to get the stripper pole installed. Yeah. Yes, thank you, thank you. Please have them do that for me. If Pamela Anderson and, and, and Kit Rock, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'll get you one, sweetie. Okay, right, in I'll, your house. Yeah, I get one in the house. Not in Abby's bar, please. No, I, I get it in the That's bedroom. Not very okay. There are the media rooms, nice because we can always play the videos in the yeah, background. Yeah, do that. She's me okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sweetie. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Mm -mm. What? I miss you. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. No. Yeah. Where are you right now? Wait till I get you. Where are you right now? I am like in my mom's bedroom talking you, really dirty to you. What do you got on? Um, my underwears and my bra and my socks. I look absolutely adorable. Oh, you nasty bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys like that. <laughs> you nasty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why is it funny when she uh, says that? Accident. It's that French accent she's got. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's the Bostonian thing, I guess. Oh, confuse me. Mm -hmm. So do you think you're really going to come see me? Yeah, I believe I can. We're, we're, yeah. We're still I'll in, we're in town that weekend. Yes. If, yeah. you're, if you're deprived. Yeah, yeah. I'm, um, yeah, I'll be deprived. You are? Okay. Yeah. If you are and you absolutely are, I'll know and I'll know that you need Yes, you will. I know, big All right. boy. I gotta go, pumpkin. Okay. Love you. Miss you. Love you too. Bye, that. honey. Oh, God. Well, that's two for Dan. <laughs> Dan's in there whooping ass. <laughs> yeah. Chicks from the men's club in our What, Eddie? Video break. Oh. <laughs> what? Nothing. You're just staring at me. What was the reason for that? We're back. Quit it, Eddie. Russ Martin Show <laughs> on the Talk That Rocks. The new 105.3 FM. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play that while she was in the room? And you come charging <laughs> oh, <laughs> You did, Esther. Hi, Batman. <laughs> no. We're back to the Trip Citizen Park Show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. I bet you did. More of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. Here 
ไรครับแม่ไว้ท้าวแซบบุชปะอะไรอนี้ She was making it up. No, she wasn't. It was way too detailed. Oh yeah, she's not that good of an actress. She's a smart porn star. <laughs> See her movies. You nasty bastard, bastard. I'm French. That was my favorite yeah. line. <laughs> I am. Really... Hmm. Go ahead, Gene. Yeah, have you checked out that Batman costume with the black light lately? But it looks like a Dalmatian. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm just getting the visual image. I'm trying to wipe it out of my head. I swear to God. Me dashing through the door, wearing the little mask and the cape, totally naked. Cape flying up behind you. Yeah. The hat, little bat pole coming out in front of him. <laughs> you gonna do news? You gonna run your mouth? I'll do news. <laughs> Do that. 6:35. J.D. Ryan's on the new 105.3 FM Tommy News. Thank you, Kip Crusader. Uh, the case of criminal uh, the criminal crematory got more twisted yesterday when investigators discovered photos of decomposing bodies on Ray Brent Marsh's office computer and found that the incinerator he claimed was broken all that time was actually working after all. Meanwhile, the search continued. Uh, yep. Uh, excuse me. For more uncremated, uncremated bodies, as authorities begin to drain a three-acre lake near his crematory. So after all that, what's well, the big deal? They were dead. What do you mean? What's the big deal? They were dead when they got there. It's not like he killed them. Would you like to have paid money for your mother, say, to be cremated and then found out that well, some, I care. she's dead? Some guys throw her out back in a in a barn and is probably getting some form of sexual gratification from her dec- decomposing body. Which brings the point, the issue, JD. Where exactly was your dad? Cremated. And we got. Thank you very much. It, it, it was done. I mean, JD watched the whole process. We've already covered this. Oh, okay. We watched the process. That's too bad. Yeah. Anyway, I don't see what the big deal is. Just lock him up, charge him. Wouldn't that be uh, what's it? Theft of something? Yeah, in Texas, it's abuse of corpse. Not if you bang it. I'm just talking about you didn't burn him up. <laughs> no, no, no. Any sort of uh, yeah, anything you do to a dead body did, like that that you're abuse. not supposed to do. Is that a federal? Uh, no, it's it's uh, actually a misdemeanor. You're, you're kidding. <laughs> See, in Texas. I told you, it's no big deal. He just didn't burn a bunch of people up. 118, 118 charges of theft by deception. Well, Texas that's, what, that's what I was thinking. That's yeah. the best they can do there. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're getting him because he essentially said he was going to provide a service, which he did not. And then he took pictures and put them on his computer. It had nothing to do with the thing not working. He's a sick... What? He's a sick person. Why? They're he's, dead. He's getting. I mean, they're dead. Would you? What if it was your mom out there in the back? She's dead. You wouldn't care that you paid this guy money. He, he didn't do anything for it. But and furthermore, got some gratification. You don't know what he was doing. Oh, he was sick. He had com- pictures of these people on his computers. Maybe he's role playing. <laughs> <laughs> Tea parties, propping him up. A little Batman outfit, <laughs> running through the woods around the dead people. <laughs> Come here, dead Robin. <laughs> So far, they've found 340 <laughs> bodies, 340 people. Well, that's not really that many. Yeah. 340 people? Yeah, did you hear they're dredging the lake? Yeah, they're, they're drowning, <laughs> they're, they're draining the lake. They're draining it, actually. That makes me mad. <laughs> Why? That's, that's like good. fishing at SeaWorld. <laughs> 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 All right, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Far enough. All right, okay. I just don't understand why everybody's all twisted. The people were dead. That's not the point. It's if it was your loved one, you'd feel that way. If it was, let's put it this way, yeah. if it was Abby yeah. and you paid somebody to cremate her, I yeah. know you'd never do that, but let's say right. you did, and you found out he just tossed her body on the field. I don't care. You wouldn't care. The part of the gone. dog that I loved is gone. That's not, you know you wouldn't feel that way if it was Abby tossed in the back of the field. Well, and you th- thought you got her ashes and you got sawdust or whatever. And I think it depends on the view. I mean... Well, where in the field you are, you know, if you're overlooking a bluff or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, this is going. Everybody, I know you don't drink. What is that? What is that? 
I just, I'm with Russ. I don't really. You don't see a big deal. Eh, he was supposed to burn them up, and he didn't. It's not like he killed them and then didn't burn them up. Yeah, but now, that would be wrong. Pictures of these people's loved ones on a They're computer. Dead. That's not. The They're point. dead. That's not the point. What he does on his own time is his own. Time. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right, forget it. Never mind. I gotta take this seriously. <laughs> it was your mom. You'd feel different. I would. Yes, yeah. you would. I wouldn't. She, 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 okay. What? Nothing. I'm just saying. If it was someone you loved, and someone I know you, you'd be more mad that you paid somebody for something they didn't do. Just think of it as some kind of big camp out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to something else. A drag racer. <laughs> no, I can't read this one because that's too serious. Uh, Reacher, here's a good. Here's a good one to follow it up with. Researchers have found that monkeys are just like us when it comes to drinking. There are social drinkers, alcoholics, and ones who never touch booze. Like Everett, but just say stupid things. As well as alcoholics who are completely out of control. Doctors from McGill University in Canada gave the booze to monkeys for research on the alcoholism gene and found that 65% are social drinkers who indulge in moderate drinking. 15% don't drink at all. 15% drink regularly and heavily. And, and the remaining 5% of the monkeys get drunk, start fighting. And then pass out. <laughs> White trash monkeys. <laughs> what is so funny about this? The monkeys, the monkeys get drunk and throw human crap on each other. <laughs> One professor says, "Quote: A cage full of drunken monkeys is like <laughs> it's like a cocktail party. You have those who get aggressive, those who get sexy, those who think everything's funny." <laughs> And one who gets really grumpy. The binge drinkers gulp down the alcohol at a very fast rate, pass out on the floor the next day. They do it all over again. This is, this is from the London... Tel this is research. A cage full of drunk monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> from McGill University in Canada. This is research. This is a project that somebody funded. This is research. Now, These guys are doing this for yeah, fun. This is, this is a college prank, and they figured out a way to get money to get a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of drunk. That's right. Sit around and watch them. Now, that's wrong. You're over here complaining about dead bodies in the Dog monkeys or that's research. <laughs> okay, let's see. Speaking of Canada, a school bus driver. Read that story again. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Researchers have found that monkeys are just like us when it comes to drinking. Social drinkers, alcoholics, and etc. McGill University, Canada gave. Do they have any monkeys that like you know get like you when you're drunk? Yes, actually, 65 percent are social drinkers who indulge in moderation. That's not what he meant. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. How you get up in the... I'm getting there. Okay. 15 percent don't drink at all. 15 percent get regular uh, drink. Blah 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 blah. He says a uh, cage full of drunken monkeys <laughs> is like a cocktail party. You have those that get aggressive, those who get sexy, damn, uh, one who thinks everything's funny, and one who really gets grumpy. You left yourself out. Well, I'm talking about the way get up in people's well, face. It's funny one. The clingy grumpy. drunk. Yeah. yeah no, the actually, clingy monkey. It doesn't say the clingy monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's the clingy monkey, sir. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 A <laughs> uh, school bus driver in Calgary, Canada is about to be out of a job after driving with a blood alcohol content three times the legal limit. Why didn't he let one of the monkeys drive? <laughs> <laughs> All the kids were on the bus. It started when some of them smelled something funny on uh, one of their on the drivers. Uh, they also thought it was odd. He had talked to one of the female passengers. It wasn't making much sense. One of the kids finally used a cell phone to call the cops. They find out he was uh, three times over the limit. And the bus driver says he only had two beers that morning. Only two beers. On the job, I'm always very cautious, he says. He added that he only stank of booze because he was hungover. Quote, if you had these kids on your bus, you'd drink too. <laughs> Hold on a second. I can't do this. Go ahead, you're on the air. Hey, Russ, I'd like to know where Snow White is with all this. Go ahead. I'm like, he's finally going to these audio clips at all. Ice, Cube. Right, go ahead, Ice Cube's coming out in a new movie over the weekend called All About the Benjamins. Here he is, talks about the plot of this great movie. Cut one. The story is about a bounty hunter played by me, young, cocky, does everything his own way, nothing but a book type dude. He's put on the trace of this other guy named, uh... Who is this? Ice Cube. Oh, okay. Reginald Wright, who's the fugitive. He's a petty con man, always in the trouble. On this particular case, he runs from me, 
ends up hiding in the back of the van of of uh, our bag. I've heard enough. Go ahead. Okay, you want to hear the great acting? Because I have a cut of the acting from this movie. I want to hurry up and hatch the sea monkey. That's, and, t- that's tomorrow. And pour beer in there. <laughs> <That's tomorrow. laughs> They're going to kill him if you put beer in there. All right. And this acting is the next cut? It's, yeah. It's uh-huh. great. This is a cut from the movie. It's coming out. It's called All About the Benjamin. Does this need a set up? Oh, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, who's the kind of man? At least you know what I'm all about. I ain't got nothing to hide. What you all about? I'm all about the business. What you think? <laughs> Why you don't trust nobody, man? Yeah, look, look, look. Okay, let's just change the subject. Because you kind of sound like a female with all this inner feeling. Just let me know everything you know about that diamond robber. No, uh, I don't think I know nothing about no diamond robber since we ain't partners. Uh, okay. Oh, I, what did I hear? Did I hear anything? I said okay. Okay, what? Yeah. Okay, we partners. <laughs> But I'm the boss. That's some good acting right there. That's called All About the Benjamins. It's coming out this weekend. And that's probably like a really good part of the movie. Yeah, that's the, that's the clip they sent out to promote it. Yeah. Well, that ain't no good. It doesn't have the N-word in it. That's no. There's no N-word That's in funnier that. than black people dropping it back and forth. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Uh, let's see here. i got to drop this in, too. Coming up tomorrow night will be a crystal chandelier. That's uh, out at I-35 at Bear Creek. Tomorrow night, starting at 9 o'clock, we have games and prizes and good things to give away, including PCW tickets, amazing superstore prizes, and Urex condoms. That's crystal chandelier tomorrow night. See you there from 9 to 11. There's news and information brought to us by DreamWorks. I'm J.D. Ryan on the Talk That Rocks, Texas. The new 105.3 FM Talk. More of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. All right, 652. What about line one, Dan? Guy's got a weird website he wants to tell you about. Go ahead, Mike. You're on the air. Hey, Russ. I heard some folks talking on the plane on the way back from San Antonio about some website that is that is talking about human meat that's sold after you're an organ donor. Do you know anything about that? Yeah. Come on. And you didn't say anything about it? What's wrong with it? Well, you know, if I want to be an organ donor... It's a host job website. website. We'll tell them it's real. That's not what I want to do. I think... I forget exactly how they uh, they get the, get this done, but I think they have a distributor in Texas. Well, somebody said something about Midland, but I don't know. But yeah, I think that's where it is, yeah. Okay, that's wrong. Okay, that's worse than the bicycle trying to bag the anchor lady. That's wrong. Trying to do what? Actually, there's a loophole in the law in that. He said that's worse than trying to use the bicycle to bang the anchor. Oh, thank you, lady. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. Whatever. There, there's actually a loophole in the law that allows for the sale of human meat. Because basically, once it's processed, it's no longer part of a body. So it's not it's not abuse of corpse. And, of course, the person's already dead, so it's not murder. So, yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You wouldn't order that? I hear it's uh, it cooks up really lean. Okay, now, you know, if they told That was good. Did you make that up? Yeah, yeah just on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. On the back of your license, and you think you're doing a great thing, that's one thing. But then to turn around and be sold and eaten? Well, what do you care? You're dead. You're already giving away parts of your body anyway. Well, I know they give away parts of your body, but you think they're going to scientific research or to give some kid a new set of eyes not to end up in a tortilla with lots of knowledge? That's just wrong. And well, I didn't know if you heard about what, it. But. Uh, well, what about if they, they give it to, like, you know, third world countries to where there's not a lot of food? You're actually helping sustain life. Well, that's, and I understand that, but that's still wrong. They need to tell people that if you're an organ donor and if you think you're doing something right, by the way, Russ Martin, mm-hmm. there's some people in Ethiopia that may be having you for leftovers. That's wrong. Once you donate your body, once you give it up, it's it's fair game. I think now, that's. I, dis- I, I disagree with you. 100%. Why? Why? Because if you say I'm an organ donor, if I told you, Russ, you're. Do we tell him or we just let him go on? No, let's keep okay, going. This is great. Yeah. Heart, <laughs> I've got lungs. Do you have any other. Do you have a. Uh, I just think people. Think anything else to throw this? I don't know if it's no, change, no, that's pretty I much do. it in terms but of legal, legality. Have you seen this website? Yeah, it's pretty You can't do that. Once you turn your body over to the government, they can do whatever they want to with it. I don't know if you're turning it over to government. Uh, I, I just, I disagree with it. I think they ought to let people know. If someone says, you know what, that's fair. If I can feed somebody, that's even better. But I need to know that because I really don't know if I want anybody eating my leg. Don't you think you're being awfully arbitrary, though? I mean, let's take your particular case, for example. What have you agreed to donate? I, I'm sorry, if I agreed to donate my organs? Yeah, I mean, what would you agree to donate? I, I would think that if I was going to donate my organs, if they'd cut me open and take everything out, 
sew me back up, put me in a casket, put me in the ground. But, or cremate me if that's what I wanted to do. But they're wasting perfectly good meat. See, now i got a real problem. They may be, but people need to know that. How can a grown uh, man I, believe that they actually you sell know, human meat? Human meat. When you go to a local grocery store, if you think it's ninety-eight percent ground beef, I, th- I also hear that it's a uh, uh, different. It's very, cu- yeah, it's very lean. Very lean. Yeah, it's yeah. almost fat-free. Yeah. Hold on a second, uh, Mike. Okay. All right, hold on. What is it, Lisa? Hey, they, it, the site is called www.manbeef.com, and mm-hmm. it's true. They do sell human flesh. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the site uh, a couple sure times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it looks. It's, uh, I, it's I, slow I, pulling up right now. I'm getting the intro. It's like a flash intro, but you can and it shows you what part of the human you're getting. Yes, and it's pretty sick. Dan, <laughs> Dan, do you have? Uh, thanks, Lisa. Dan, do you have the website up in there? I am trying to pull it up. It is so overloaded right oh, now. Oh, nice. everybody's cramming it. Yeah. It makes no sense to take you know the the hard and different parts of the body and just totally disregard other useful parts of the human corpse. I mean, why wouldn't you want to to sell the meat and, and use it? As you say, for you know, third world countries is a perfect example. People that would otherwise go hungry. So you don't like the fact that people could actually live from your body? Not that, no, you're misphrasing my argument. People don't know I'm getting bored with this. Anybody else want to throw anything out? That's it. Yeah. If I was an organ donor, that I may become part of somebody's meal and I choose to do that, that's okay. Right. But nowhere on the organ donor card does it say, P.S., you may end up at the Sunday cookout. I think that's absolutely wrong. I think it's desecration. Why, why would it be desecration? Somebody's because eating you to sustain their life. You're actually I, giving life. I understand that, but what if people why are you so? St- why are you so, that's just so selfish. Stand- selfish. That's very narcissistic. I don't think it's narcissistic at all. Yes, it is. Your body is nothing more than a vehicle to carry around your soul while it walks this planet. Once your soul is left, your body is trash. That's all it is. Let somebody, give somebody the chance to sustain their life. Well, that would just be an appetizer, but I don't want to say anything. But listen, you have, people have to know that that's what they're going to do with your body. (laughs) That was funny. Yeah, I like that. That was good. That's just me. All right. Well, I, I'm sorry that we disagree. I just, I think it's one of the, I'm surprised some company hasn't thought of it sooner. Well, I, I knew that if I called you, at least it would be... Are you getting pissed off anymore? I, yeah, we I can think try. it's wrong. Right. I, think yeah. that a lot of I think it's wrong. That getting because I'm about bored with if it. If everybody okay. goes to it and says, that's okay, I agree with it, fine. I think it's a wonderful thing. I, I just think your logic is very, very short-sighted. To sit there and say that you can donate your eyes, you can donate your heart, but your meat, forget about it. What is desecration? I mean, you're saying you're desecrating the body when you when you use the meat for food, but not when you take the eyes? But it's the same principle. What if, what if your aunt dies, and she's not an organ donor, but somebody decides, you know what, we really need a good set of eyeballs, and they take them. And they didn't tell you, and she said she didn't agree with it. Or she didn't know. Well, now, of course does that make the taking of the eyeballs any less beneficial to somebody? No. But you don't know about it. Any guy thing you want to add? I mean, I think <laughs> there would be some people out there that said, hmm, if I donate my lungs... This is a grown man who obviously has a car and a cell phone who's driving right I now. I think that some people would have a real right. problem with that. And I'm just saying... I'm asking if he's ever tasted know. human flesh. Yeah, okay. Have but, you not ever tasted human flesh? I mean, it is absolutely sweet when it's cooked. It smells like almost like you're baking something with sugar in the house. Well, you know, there was a time on the airplane up in the Andes that I don't like to talk about it. Anyway, I just thought you guys would want to know. Okay. Well, I, I'm sorry that uh, you think it's uh, it's uh, desecration. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you ask your callers and see who thinks it's a good idea. All right. Not, I, not I, tell you, I tell you what. Hold on just a second. You want to, uh, you want to stay on the phone while we take some calls? Uh, I tell you what, I'll listen. But, okay, uh, all right. Well, just, just see what folks say. If it's okay, okay, if you're an organ donor, that you end up... I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. See you around. All right, bye. It's all right, right. What? It's kind of like cat, from what I understand. It takes, tastes just like chicken. Yeah. All right. I know. <laughs> you were on a roll today, too, Everett. That was a good one, Eddie. Just no, no, the chicken thing. That's okay. Just, no. I threw the cat thing in. That helped. Trust me. Okay. Go ahead, uh, G. You're on the air. Hey, G- hey, Russ. No, yeah. I was just this guy was saying that if he gave his approval, then it was okay. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted him to know: name one cow, one mm-hmm. pig, one sheep that says it's okay to eat them. Mm-hmm. 
screwing them, a different story. <laughs> <laughs> I will presume by your silence. That's what we tell juries. Right. All right, we'll take a couple of phone calls. Oh, we got to go, don't we? Uh, we got two minutes. Oh. Oh, do we? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, I, I got your neighbor's kidney oven right now. Okay. There's one. Hello? Hey, Russ. Yes? Hey, uh, you people in Texas are easily duped, man. There's a bunch of idiots out there, man, and that guy's just a big tool. He's an organ. Oh, don't let him in on it. The host job. You turd. Now he's gone and ruined it. <laughs> yeah, I've been keeping those people off. Oh. <laughs> Everybody knew we were hosing him. That's the thing. Oh, you except, guys for, except for the girl, Lisa. She called back in again. She thinks it's real. She thinks it's real. She's on the website. Yeah, well, there's a website. It's manbeef.com. It must be real. And she called back to say, no, they don't use organ donor meat. It's people who have uh, sold their bodies to the people who make the meat. <laughs> you know what? She's right. She's absolutely right. There's no reason to argue with her. Uh, uh. I had some chicks send me an email today. Eddie, what time do we have to be out of here? 70310. 70310. Sent me an email today. She goes, you got to take a look at this. It's on the White House website. you got to take a look, and, you know, it's got pictures of presidential stuff. Mm -hmm. And at first glance, it kind of looks presidential. It looks like the White House. Mm -hmm. She goes, scroll all the way down to the bottom. They've got mandatory uh, patriotic tattoos. That everybody... What are you doing? Nothing. Your face was twitching. I'm sorry. Oh, please. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. You did that on purpose. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, please. Tell your, tell your story. Please tell me you're having a stroke. I'm not having a stroke. <laughs> you got the hiccups? No. What's wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Did anybody else see that? I know, yes. I know what's wrong with him. What? Lift up his shirt. What's wrong with my shirt? No, I don't. No, I don't have those on. What? Well, well, I'm wondering if he has that shocking shock belt test. thingy no. on. I was just being silly. Go on. Why are you shaking? He's not lifting his shirt. I'm not Lift shaking. your shirt up. Ooh. Ooh, that's nasty. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> it's bad when Eddie says it. <laughs> 70310? Yep. All right, I'll make it quick. Sent me a website, and she goes, uh, uh, take a look at it, scroll all the way down. Mandatory patriotic tattoos, and it was people with barcodes, and it said the, the big thick guy, the, the defense guy, Homeland Defense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the guy with the great big neck says, we got to do this. She goes, you got to look at it, and she got to talk about it. I sent her an email back and went, are you retarded? It's on the White House website. I said the White House website is whitehouse.gov, not whitehouse.org, you monkey. <laughs> That's good. People are absolutely retarded. They believe in anything they see. It's on the Internet. It's got to be true. All right. Uh, Dan, you got 10 seconds. You do anything in 10 seconds? Yeah, I'll do the quick version. Yeah. To learn more about the Russ Martin Show, to email anyone on the show to get in the studio audience and get on the show's weekly email list, simply go to russmartin.com. Forever Newton, contact him at 214-823-LAWS, DallasAttorney.com. For information on the rest of the station, go to KYNG.com. Pause and I've seen him on G.com. 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 Pause Nafimon, and Gita Cop, 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 Pause Nafimon, and Gita C